Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Naruto. I sell jars in Konoha Village. Chapter 81. Kakashi. Sakura. Uchiha Sasuke. Seeing Naruto Uzumaki's sudden change of subject, the corners of Kakashi and the other three's mouths twitched slightly. This Naruto opened his mouth to borrow money, which was beyond his expectation. What do you think makes you think that on the first day we met, less than an hour later, I would lend you money? Kakashi looked at Uzumaki Naruto speechlessly. This kid really dares to think. You are our instructor anyway, and we will follow you from now on. It is only a matter of time before we get to know each other. Uzumaki Naruto said with a familiar face, in that case, what's wrong with borrowing some money in advance? Kakashi. So, what about you? Kakashi ignored Naruto and looked at Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura. Cut. Seeing this scene, Uzumaki Naruto curled his lips and said, if you don't want to borrow it, just borrow it, and you're changing the subject. As for the introduction of Uchiha Sasuke and Sakura, he had already seen it in advance and it was meaningless. As for Sakura, he at most likes her, but that kind of liking has slowly faded in his heart. Kakashi. Kakashi glanced at Uzumaki Naruto speechlessly. From the current point of view, the information that Uzumaki Naruto and the third generation gave him was completely opposite. And Kakashi also discovered that Uzumaki Naruto was not interested in Sakura. This is completely unequal in information. Kakashi fell into deep thought as he watched Uzumaki Naruto holding a bag tightly with both hands and paying no attention to Sakura who was introducing and looking at Uchiha Sasuke. What exactly was Naruto holding in his bag? He is very curious. But seeing that Naruto didn't even open the bag, Kakashi decided to explore it later. At this time, Haruno Sakura also finished her introduction, and it was Uchiha Sasuke's turn to introduce. Well, after a while, Kakashi sighed and said, then the introduction ends here. I'll make a long story short and start executing the mission tomorrow. Ha, huh, is there still a mission? Hearing this, Haruno Sakura was surprised, can we take over the mission now? No, we don't take missions. Kakashi shook his head slightly and said, what we will conduct tomorrow is a wilderness survival exercise. Isn't that what we do in school all the time? Uchiha raised his head and frowned, why this? Because your opponent is me. Kakashi said calmly, did you know? Among the 27 graduates, only 9 can be recognized as genin, and the rest will be sent back to school again. This test is extremely difficult, and the elimination rate is over 60%. Is there such a thing? Haruno Sakura's eyes widened, I have never heard of this. Uchiha Sasuke's expression was very ugly. If I go back to school, it will be next year. Is there such a good thing? Uzumaki Naruto rubbed his hands excitedly. Doesn't that mean that I can play in the ninja school for another year? If he hadn't read the comics and already knew the core of this survival exercise, he wouldn't have acted like this. He wanted to see what this teacher would do to Kakashi's surprise. Kakashi, Uchiha Sasuke, Haruno Sakura. Hearing Uzumaki Naruto's words, Haruno Sakura's eyes widened and she looked at Uzumaki Naruto with a ghostly expression, your clone technique can be divided into dozens, and you still want to go back to school to bully others. Then you have always been a what's the picture on the end of the crane. She was also present during Uzumaki Naruto's graduation exam yesterday and was shocked when she saw Uzumaki Naruto's transformation technique. Uzumaki Naruto is not a loser at all. Moreover, Naruto was still eager to graduate before, but why has he changed now? You want to quit? Kakashi squinted his eyes. There is no such rule at the moment. In any case, you must participate in tomorrow's assessment. I have written down the specific requirements. Don't be late tomorrow. With that said, Kakashi took out three pieces of paper and handed them to Uzumaki Naruto and the others. That's right, Naruto. Kakashi suddenly thought of something, looked at the contents of Uzumaki Naruto's bag and asked curiously, what are you holding? Hearing this, Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura immediately turned their heads and looked over. They are also very curious. Humph, I won't tell you. Uzumaki Naruto snorted, unless you lend me money. Kakashi, disgusting little devil. Kakashi stood up and left immediately. The current relationship with the three of them is completely different from what Sandai said. He wants to find Sandai. No, Naruto, Kakashi-sensei is our instructor after all. 
Haruno Sakura looked at Uzumaki Naruto and hesitated. Isn't it bad for you to borrow money like this? Sakura, can you lend me money? After hearing Haruno Sakura's words, Uzumaki Naruto looked at Haruno Sakura with a faint look. His plan to sell ninjutsu to make money had gone to waste, and he was in desperate need of money. Haruno Sakura, get out. Haruno Sakura roared inwardly, speechless, I have no money. In that case, let's meet again tomorrow. Uchiha Sasuke said as he stood up. Wait, Sasuke. Seeing Sasuke leaving, Haruno Sakura hurriedly said, We have just graduated, why don't we go buy some ninja tools? I heard that Tiantian's ninja tool shop has launched a new jar mode, which is very cost effective. Maybe we can get detonating tags or something. Should we go and have a look together? There is also this way. Hearing this, Uchiha Sasuke frowned slightly. No wonder he heard some people talking when he came this morning. But now he has no shortage of ninja tools. He immediately waved his hand and left. When Uzumaki Naruto heard what Haruno Sakura said, his face was strange. Isn't this the way of the store owner? Go and have a look. Immediately, Uzumaki Naruto muttered and left decisively. Ha, ha, looking at Uzumaki Naruto leaving, Haruno Sakura widened her eyes. She could understand Sasuke's coldness towards him. But Naruto, the last one, didn't talk to her. Haruno Sakura suddenly felt abandoned by the world. Especially today, Uzumaki Naruto didn't talk to her, which made her suddenly feel uncomfortable. In the past, Uzumaki Naruto would have come to her to communicate. Really, do you want to learn from Sasuke to attract my attention? HMPH, impossible. The next second, Haruno Sakura thought of something, her eyes narrowed suddenly, and she suddenly realized, I understand, it turns out to be this method. Without any hesitation, Haruno Sakura decisively walked in the direction where Uchiha Sasuke left. These three guys don't have a good relationship. Just as Haruno Sakura left, Kakashi, who had already left, appeared in the same place, frowning and looking in two directions. I had been hiding in the dark just now, wanting to see these three guys discuss. In the end, they didn't even discuss and left directly. He could see that Naruto's reaction was not what Sakura said, just to deliberately attract Sakura's attention. And today he even said that he was going back to the ninja school. Forget it, go to the third generation to report first. Kakashi shook his head and left again. According to the instructions of the third generation, after the three of them got to know each other, they went to report the situation to him. By the way, should I transform and ask Sakura for money? At this time, Uzumaki Naruto, who was leaving, pinched his chin and pondered all the way. However, this idea only appeared for a moment, and Uzumaki Naruto shook his head violently. It won't work, Sakura doesn't have that much money. Alas, I owe a debt of 100,000 just after graduation. Thinking of the money he still owed to teacher Aruka, Uzumaki Naruto felt so heartbroken that he couldn't breathe. If he went back to the ninja school, he would not be able to leave the village. At present, he has the multiple shadow clone technique in his hand, which can be sold out of the village. So he must go to Kakashi's survival exercise. Unknowingly, Uzumaki Naruto walked and came to Tiantian's ninja tool shop. At this time, at the door of the ninja tool shop, one after another parents brought their children, or ninjas wearing ninja forehead protectors came to line up to pay for opening the cans. Tiantian's parents were smiling and receiving them. Obviously, the business here is very hot. Really smart. After taking a look, Uzumaki Naruto knew that this must have been learned from the owner. This means that they may have gone to the owner to open the can. So if I want to update my ninja tools in the future, I can also come here. Let's go have a bowl of ramen first. Feeling a little hungry, Uzumaki Naruto decided to go to Ichiraku Ramen for lunch. However, when he just walked to Ichiraku Ramen, he smelled a faint sour smell, which made Uzumaki Naruto's eyes suddenly widen. What a weird smell. This snail noodle is really delicious. Hand beaten, are you still supplying it in the evening? I came here to eat it because I heard about your snail noodles. Hey, you should have said last night that you would launch a new product today. I definitely came this morning. At this time, the customers lined up at the door of Ichiraku Ramen were talking to the busy hand beaten in Iris. There were a lot of people talking, so the sound was clearly heard by Uzumaki Naruto. 
so many people, snail noodles, such a smelly thing, and people still eat it. Listening to these discussions, the corners of Uzumaki Naruto's mouth twitched slightly. He just wanted to eat ramen, but Ichiraku ramen launched such a snail noodle, and he didn't like the taste alone. But so many people are here, even if I eat ramen, it's not okay. Seeing so many people crowded in Ichiraku ramen, Uzumaki knew that if he went in, he would definitely be disliked. Alas, Uzumaki Naruto sighed and turned away decisively. I can't eat ramen again today. Forget it, go back and eat instant noodles. As for the owner, there is no need to go, after all, there is no money, and it's not good to go there. I have to find a way to make money. Uzumaki Naruto is very sad. It seems that there is no money in the village. When Uzumaki Naruto is sad. On the other side, in the office of the third Hokage. The third Hokage listened to Kakashi's report with a strange look on his face. You said, Naruto wants to borrow money from you. What does this kid want money for? That's not clear, Kakashi thought deeply. But I see that Naruto is drinking expired milk and eating instant noodles. He must be extremely short of money. Didn't you, third generation, give him money when you were normal? Yes, I'll give you a sum every month. The third Hokage shook his head slightly and said, but this kid likes to eat instant noodles. Logically speaking, he should have between 10 and 200,000. One or 200,000. Hearing this, Kakashi's heart sank. Too little, although it is a lot for ordinary people, for a child to grow up, if such a small amount of money is spread equally every month, it does not seem to be much. People like him were transferred out of the ninja village to perform tasks, and they didn't know much about the situation in the village at all. I still need you to check. The third Hokage said, because Naruto asked Aruka to get 100,000 tails during the graduation exam. Logically speaking, he will not be short of money. Even if he eats and drinks a lot, he will get 100,000 tails. It can't be spent in a day or two. You also ask the teacher of the ninja school to get 100,000 yuan. Hearing this, Kakashi raised an eyebrow. The third generation didn't tell him about it yesterday. I see, Kakashi nodded. I will pay attention. Besides, don't let Naruto and the others get stuck in your exam. The third Hokage thought of something and said, as long as you understand the meaning of cooperation during the assessment, Naruto can no longer repeat the grade. I see, hearing this, Kakashi nodded slightly. But the next second, Kakashi changed the topic and said softly, since I have taken over Team 7, can I evacuate the Anbu who are monitoring the descendants of the Uchiha clan? And Naruto sighed, I will take charge of this matter. After hearing Kakashi's words, the third Hokage was silent for a moment and said slowly, in the past few days, I have tried my best to remove the Anbu from Naruto's side. The Roots Hearing the words of the third Hokage, Kakashi squinted his eyes and thought of the roots. Then he said goodbye to Sandai and left. Dong dong dong. Just as Kakashi left, there was a sudden knock on the door. Then an Anbu ninja opened the door and walked in, saying respectfully, Sir Hokage, the poison on Danzo-sama's body cannot be analyzed at present, even by the means of the medical department ninja. We also focused on searching the Abarame clan and the Inazuka clan, but nothing similar was found. This seems to be a new type of poison, and it is colorless and odorless. We haven't found the source so far. Is it so troublesome? Hearing this, the third Hokage frowned. Since the unknown poison can have an effect on Danzo, it must also have an effect on other people, including him. He also understood it these days. He was so weak that he couldn't even use chakra. He was completely at the mercy of others, which was terrifying to watch. If this happened on the battlefield or was attacked by someone sneakily, there would be no means of targeting it at all. The most important thing is that I still can't find out what method this is. After taking several puffs of cigarette, Zuozu ordered, continue to study and pay attention to Danzo's situation at all times. Danzo-sama has left the medical department. Upon hearing this, the Anbu ninja whispered, we can't stop it. In addition, Danzo-sama also asked about the recent situation of the Jinchuriki. Is that so? Hearing this, the third generation frowned and said softly, inform him to evacuate the people he is watching. I have already ordered Kakashi to form Team 7. Kakashi will be responsible for everything that follows. Just say I said. Yes, 
Upon hearing this, the Anbu ninja left immediately. By the way, bring me a bowl of snail noodles. Suddenly, the third Hokage thought of something and ordered. I heard that the Ichiraku ramen shop has a new product. Pack a copy for me. Yes, hearing this, the Anbu was stunned. He nodded immediately to show his understanding. The problem of class 7 has been solved, let's move on to class 8. The third generation looked at the information on the table and stopped at Hanada Hanada's information. Originally, he was thinking of placing Hanada Hanada in class 7. Unexpectedly, Hanada Hazashi was already one step ahead and made an agreement with Yuhi Kuranai, which was a pity. The role of this class can only be developed in the direction of being good at tracking and exploration. When the third Hokage murmured, the other side, Hyuga clan. Kurunai Yuhi looked at Hanada Hainashi in front of her, and said in confusion, Head of the Hanada clan, I have already met Inazuka Kiba and Abarame Shino, but your daughter has not come. I have been waiting all morning. What happened, already? As the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan, I also know Hanada. I had talked with Hanada Hazu before, and everything was settled. As a result, Hanada didn't come today, which gave her a headache. Hanada was not there until noon, so she could only let Inazuka Kiba and Abarame Shino leave first, and wait until tomorrow to meet again. I stopped by the Hyuga clan to inquire about the situation. Well, I'd like to ask Yuhi Kurunai Junin for a trip. Hearing Yuhi Kurunai's words, Hanada Hiyashi said softly, My daughter is currently undergoing special training for the Hyuga clan and has no time, so Yuhi Kurunai Junin does not need to care about Hanada. Special training. How long will it last? Hearing this, Yuhi Kurunai frowned. At present, the other two teammates are ready, just waiting for Hanada. What the team needs is running in and teamwork. If there is no running in, the team will be greatly affected. At such an important time, why did Hayuga Hanada undergo special training of the Hayuga clan? She didn't understand. For Hanada, she even screened and finally decided on Inazuka Kiba and Abarame Shino. Combined with the Byakugan of the Hyuga clan, she was sure to train this team into an elite team. This may take some time. Hearing what Yuhi Kurunai said, Hyuga Hiyashi pondered for a moment and said slowly, I'm afraid there is no time in these weeks. That won't do. Hearing this, Yuhi Kurunai's face changed. This is a waste of time. My goal is the upcoming Chunin exam. If I don't train, I won't be able to cooperate and exert my due combat power. Chief Hiyashi, you should also know the rumors about the Chunin exam. Now time is actually very tight. I also want to take the team out of the village directly to perform field survival exercises to hone them. As far as I know, Hanada has not experienced this kind of real mission under your protection. Yuhi Kurunai didn't understand that as the clan leader, Hanada Hazashi was not unaware of the rumors currently circulating among the Junin. Hanada is on her team, and she is 100% sure that she can train this team into elites to take the Chunin exams. But now, Hayuga Hanada has to undergo special training for the Hayuga clan, which is two. Why did Hanada and Hanada have to go through special training at this time? And, is it really arranged? Yeah, I understand. Hearing Yuhi Kurunai's words, Hayuga Hanada was silent for a moment, nodded slightly, and said, Let's do it, three days. Give me three days, which is the fourth day. I will let Hanada finish the special training and return to the team. When the time comes, you can directly take Hanada and the others to receive the mission and leave the village to train them. The reason why Hanada Hiyashi said this was because he just wanted to rely on Yuhi Kurunai. With Hanada under Yuhi Kurunai's name, it was finalized, and then the third generation would have no reason to transfer Hanada to other classes. The second thing is that Hanada's current strength is not weak. Not to mention anything else, the chakra in his body alone is already comparable to that of an average chunin. The training of ninjutsu and taijutsu has also not fallen behind. Even in the past few days, due to the problem of mastering the changes in the properties of wind chakra, I have even mastered the wind escape ninjutsu. The reason why he said this to Yuhi Kurunai was because Hanada's strength improved too quickly, far beyond her peers. He wanted to delay it for a while, and even use the excuse of special training. After all, he knew that Kurunai Yuhi, a Junin, was surrounded by the son of the third generation. 
and he also wanted to take advantage of these few weeks to let Hanada open jars at Lin Mo's place as soon as possible, stay at Lin Mo's place, train, etc., and build a good relationship with Lin Mo. While the jar shop is not known to the world now, we should seize this opportunity. After all, he knew that once Hanada participated in the team's outdoor survival training to guide Jonan, she would really have to leave the village. It would take at least 10 days and a half to run back and forth, receive tasks, and complete tasks. This time, a lot less cans have been opened. That's why Hanada and Hanada were dragged along. I just didn't expect that only half a day had passed, and Yuhi Hong was already eager to come to the door. After a few days, he can discuss it with Yuhi Kuranai to ensure that Hanada can return to the family within a week after leaving the village. Take this opportunity to open a jar. Three days. When Hanada Hiyashi thought so, Yuhi Hong's wrinkles relaxed slightly. Although three days was quite a long time for her, Hanada and Hanada had already said so, so it was impossible for her to say anything else. After all, Hanada is the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan. Thinking of this, Yuhi Hong nodded and said, I understand, then I will pick up Hanada on the fourth day, or let Hanada come to the training ground of my choice. Saying that, Yuhi Hong stood up and glanced behind Hanada Hiyashi's door without leaving any trace. Her chakra perception technique is very strong, and she can clearly sense that behind the closed door of Hanada and Hanada, there is a girl standing quietly, seemingly listening. If nothing else, it's probably Hanada Hanada. This also shows that the communication between her and Hanada Hazu was heard by this child. It seems to be proved that this child did not undergo so-called special training. Yuhi Hong was confused and didn't understand. But she also knew that now was not the time to delve into these matters, so she could only hide these confusions deep in her heart. When she becomes familiar with the team in the future, she can inquire about it. Wait, Yuhi Kuranai Junin. Looking at Yuhi Kuranai who was about to leave, Hanada Hazu said, I still have one more thing to trouble you. What's the matter? Yuhi Hong stopped and looked back at Hanada and Hainashi in surprise. It's about reporting on the situation of the students leading the team. Hanada tapped his finger on the coffee table next to him and said softly, after the group guides the Junin to contact the students, they need to communicate, record the data and report it first. At the same time, they will write comments and scores based on the wild survival performance and subsequent growth. Report it, I don't want you to record it yet. After Hanada officially joins the team, you will take over the mission, take them out on the mission, and finally record them together and report them when the time comes. What do you think? This doesn't seem to be in line with the rules. Hearing Hanada Hiyashi's words, Yuhi Hong frowned. The purpose of recording students' conditions in stages is to better observe the students' development. As the eldest daughter of the Hyuga clan, Hanada cannot be compared with ordinary students. Hanada Hiyashi shook his head slightly and said, as far as I know, there is no guidance Junin who leads the team every year. Due to the mission time, the situation is reported late. I see. Seeing that Hanada and Hanada had said this, Yuhi Hong was silent for a moment, nodded slightly and said, I have no problem. Then I'll send Yuhi Kuranai to you. Hearing Yuhi Kuranai's words, Hanada Hiyashi had a smile on his face. Then he stood up in person and sent Yuhi Hong away from the Hyuga clan. How strange. Yuhi Kuranai, who walked out of the Hyuga clan's territory, was deep in thought. She felt that Hanada Hazu seemed to want to hide something, but considering that he was a disciple of a large family, it was normal. Immediately, Yuhi Hong stopped thinking about it. It's just a trivial matter. Being a teacher for children from a large family is not a bad thing, it also has its benefits. For a ninja, this is an excellent resume and a plus. Moreover, ordinary Jonans cannot be the instructors of disciples of big families, even if they want to be. When Kuranai Yuhi thought so and left. After watching Kuranai Yuhi leave, Hayuga Hiyashi turned back to his study. At the door of the study, Hayuga Hanada looked at Hayuga Hiyashi in confusion. Because she didn't go to school today because of her father's order. She just asked her to train, so she didn't know this teacher very well. She didn't understand her father's actions, but she also believed that her father must have a reason for doing so. Let's talk inside. After taking a look at the range of the True Vision Guard, Hayuga Hiyashi gave an order and took Hayuga Hanada into the study. 
Compared to letting you train with the leader of the team, I would rather let you train in the backyard of the store owner, communicate with the store owner, build a good relationship with the store owner, and open the jars by the way. After Hanada Hayuga entered the study, Hiyashi Hayuga said, I don't need to say how magical the jars on the store owner's side are. It's better to open the jars than to do those useless tasks. Hearing Hiyashi Hayuga's words, Hanada Hayuga nodded slightly and agreed with Hiyashi. Yes, opening the jar is the most important thing. These few days, she has been learning the ninjutsu of wind escape, and she feels that her strength has improved a lot. But once you are assigned a team leader, you must integrate into the team. Most of the ninja's tasks are completed in the form of tasks. Hanada Hiyashi said softly. So once you are assigned to a team, you will be comrades in the future. You will be run in and cooperate with each other by the team leader. Even disciples from big families are no exception. Speaking of this, Hanada Hiyashi paused, and Hanada Hanada nodded slightly to show that she knew. And Hayuga Hiyashi continued. But once you follow the team leader to guide the Jonin, you will definitely not be able to come back in a short time, and most of the time you will be on a mission. Generally, apprentice ninjas who graduate from ninja schools are assigned some ordinary tasks in their villages. Only those ninjas who have the qualifications of Jenin will be assigned to the team to perform missions outside the village. In this way, you will have no time to open the jars, so I thought of letting you stay a little longer to open the jars. In the future, I will also let Yuhi Kurunai Jonin let you come back once a week. As Hayuga Hiyashi spoke, Hayuga Hanada knew that her father thought so. The second is your personality. Hayuga Hiyashi was silent for a while, and slowly said, Since we are talking about the assigned team leader Jonin, let's talk about the third Hokage. If I don't help you find a good teacher in advance, you will definitely be assigned to other teams by the third Hokage. If nothing unexpected happens, it should be Team 7. Team, Team 7. Hayuga Hanada's face suddenly turned red and she stuttered. Isn't Team 7 Naruto's class? When Hiyashi Hayuga saw this, his face darkened and he asked, Do you know why? Why? Seeing that Hiyashi Hayuga was a little angry, Hanada Hayuga was a little confused. Because of Naruto, the third generation wanted to tie you and that Nine Tails kid together. Hiyashi Hayuga said calmly, I know that kid got beaten for you, but that kid is careless and doesn't think about these things at all. What if I say that when you met Naruto as a child, it was arranged? Ah, hearing Hiyashi Hayuga's words, Hanada Hayuga's face froze. Arranged, what does it mean? When you fought with Hanabi, you disappointed me. Hayuga Hayuga's tone suddenly became stern, making Hanada Hayuga silent and subconsciously bow her head. Looking at Hanada Hayuga who looked like a quail, Hiyashi Hayuga rubbed his brows and said, Although I have placed my hope on Hanabi, you and I have never neglected each other. I will give you nothing less. Hearing Hiyashi Hayuga's call, Hanada Hayuga kept silent. She knew what her father said. Although her father gave up cultivating her when she was a child, she was the same as Hanabi in many things. I was very disappointed with your character at that time. Even if you ran away from home, I wanted you to reflect on yourself. As my daughter, I also arranged a special ninja to take care of you. But do you know, the ninja I arranged for you didn't catch up with you because he was delayed by other things. You just ran out of the family base camp, but you still belong to the family's territory, but you met that nine-tailed kid. Speaking of this, Hayuga Hiyashi narrowed his eyes and said, The nine-tailed kid has been regarded as a container of Jinchuriki since birth. He is always under the surveillance of the village's Anbu ninjas. Because the power of the tailed beast is too terrible, the third generation Hokage sent people to take care of him 24 hours a day. There is also an unwritten rule in the village, including our family, that is, don't expose the fact that Uzumaki Naruto is a demon fox. In fact, the boy is not a demon fox, but a container of a demon fox, including her mother, who is also a container of the nine-tailed fox. Hearing this, Hayuga Hanada's pupils shrank sharply. Surprisingly, there is such a thing. She didn't know it at all. Because of everyone's hatred for the demon fox, they also don't like that boy. They don't know about the Jinchuriki. Even ordinary ninjas don't know. Hanada Hazu continued slowly, but this matter is not a secret to us. So he grew up under surveillance, and even Anbu ninjas wouldn't let him have contact with anyone. 
Why do you think such a person under surveillance appeared in our family territory? And he happened to help you. You need to know your identity. You are the eldest daughter of the family. Whether you are in the territory of our Hyuga clan or outside the territory, you are the people who are friendly, respected and loved by our clan. How come they don't know your identity? The most interesting thing is that I didn't find out the identities of the three boys who bullied you. Speaking of this, Hanada Hanada sneered disdainfully. So, do you still think it was a coincidence that you met that nine-tailed brat, the boy who was bullied? Upon hearing this, Hanada was stunned on the spot. So, is there such a thing? This is not the first time the third generation has used this method. Hanada Hazu said calmly. The mother of the Kayubi boy used similar methods at the beginning. Now, the third generation has set their sights on our Hyuga clan. After all, our Hyuga clan has grown too big after steady development over the years. Speaking of this, Hanada Hainashi sighed lightly, I have never let Hanabi enter school. I just want to focus on training and bring her with me specially. But do you know, the third generation also talked to me the night before yesterday and asked me when I would arrange Hanabi. Enroll in school so that his grandson can bring fireworks. You say, can I refuse? Although the third generation is discussing with me, do you think that as a father, there is room for refusal? Also, there are fireworks. After hearing Hanada Hanada's words, Hanada suddenly raised her head and clenched her fist slightly. Hanabi is her favorite sister. Now that Hanabi has the three Magatama Sharingan, if she enrolls in school, there is a risk of being exposed. The only way to practice with me is to be the safest. Unfortunately, the third generation does not agree. I can only do my best to support him. This time should not exceed a year. Before that, you need to stand in front of your sister. So you don't know the value of the jars that appear now. As long as you open a certain jar, you can become stronger. Only when you become stronger can you better protect your family and the people you want to protect. Instead of protecting the village. Hanada Hiyashi spoke calmly, while Hanada looked silent as she listened. She suddenly didn't know what to say. Think about it. Hanada Hazu sighed and said, Originally I didn't want to tell you this, but if I don't, I think I might not have a chance. And you have walked out of school and are no longer a child, so think about it carefully. Having said this, Hanada and Hanada stood up and left. Hanada was left alone in the study. Her father's words were like a heavy stone pressing on her chest, making it almost impossible for her to breathe. She recalled her encounter with Naruto, when she was surrounded by people, Uzumaki Naruto appeared, and then ran over and told her to run quickly, blocking the three children. All of this was actually just because of an arranged plan. Are her feelings just part of the script given by others? Thinking of what her father said and what happened to her sister, all pointing to the third generation, Hanada remained silent. Hanada shook her head trying to shake these thoughts away, but they entangled themselves deeper into her thoughts like vines. So, is all this beauty just an illusion? If everything was planned, what do my feelings mean? Hanada whispered, her voice full of weakness and confusion. She felt as if she had been deprived of the right to choose. Her feelings, her efforts, and even her growth were all manipulated by adults with ulterior motives. Time passed quietly, not sure how much time had passed, Hanada took a deep breath and stood up slowly. She thought of Mr. Lin Mo from the jar shop. Those eyes that always reveal wisdom and tranquility, and his smile that always makes people feel at ease. Maybe he could give her some pointers. With this thought in mind, Hanada quickly left the family and walked quickly towards the jar shop. When Hanada came to the jar shop, she saw Tenten sitting cross-legged on the ground, refining chakra. E.H. Hanada, seeing Hanada arriving, Tenten's eyes lit up and he quickly said, Why are you here free? Isn't today the day to meet and get to know your instructor Jonan? That's how she came here in the first place. Usually they get to know each other in the morning, and the teacher will give them guidance at noon and afternoon. Hanada actually found time to come here. Um, hearing Tiantian's words, Hanada nodded slightly and said, I came here this time to ask Mr. Lin Mo. While talking, Hanada looked at Lin Mo. Ask what? Lin Mo, who was holding the eight-door Dungia scroll and looking at it, raised his head in slight surprise and said with interest, is it related to the jar? Now he still has a dozen jars before he can get the exclusive jar, and he really hopes that Hanada will bring someone to open the jar. 
No, it's not. After hearing Lin Mo's words, Hanada quickly shook her head. Then he looked at Tiantian, hesitated for a moment, and then said what Hanada Hiyashi had just said to him. It's like something a third generation would do. Tiantian listened and sneered. Ever since her family's ninja tools were taken away by the root and open retaliation, she felt uncomfortable. So, what do you want to ask? Lin Mo pinched his chin and looked at Hanada thoughtfully. I also know about your childhood, but I don't know about the three children who bullied you. Since your father said so, there must be no problem. I, how should I better protect my sister? After listening to Lin Mo's words, Hanada was silent for a while and whispered, I feel that I should listen to my father, but the knowledge I learned in school makes me confused. And thinking that her encounter with Uzumaki Naruto when she was a child was set up by someone, Hanada's good feelings mixed with gratitude for Naruto gradually dissipated. You are not a child anymore. You need to understand that liking and having a crush on each other are two different things. You cannot confuse gratitude with this. And you need to know that only a small family can lead to a big family. Lin Mo said slowly, you need to understand the essence of the matter. The situation you are facing now, not to mention the one when you were a child, just the problem you are facing now, your sister Hanabi. Hearing Lin Mo's words, Hayuga Hanada nodded subconsciously. Yes, the problem her sister Hanabi encountered. And do she really like Naruto? It seems not. It's just that he saved her and asked her to run fast. She has some good feelings for him, but it's just a good feeling. Hanada felt that she seemed to understand. She felt as if circles were jumping out of her mind. It's very simple to solve the problem. Beside him, Tiantian, who had been listening, spread his hands and said, Open the can, Hanada, you are not weak now, maybe you will be able to open the strength of the Jonan level next week. As long as you become strong enough, you can protect the people you want to protect. Yes, hearing Tiantian's words, Hanada's eyes became brighter. As long as you become strong enough, no one can plot against your sister. Become stronger. The easiest way to become stronger at present is to open the can. Looking at Hanada's eyes becoming brighter and brighter, Linmo pinched his chin and fell into deep thought. Is Hanada going to transform? He found that although Hanada's personality is not very cheerful now, her inner determination has gradually been stimulated. At least, she wants to protect her sister now. But it's not surprising to think that Hanada's personality originally changed very quickly. That's right. Beside her, Tiantian patted Hanada's shoulder heavily and squinted his eyes. We good sisters will become stronger together in the future. How about training with me here at Linmo this afternoon? Okay. Hearing Tiantian's words, Hanada nodded. She felt very happy to be with Tiantian. It's a good opportunity to exchange ideas. After all, she will return to the team in four days. By the way, ask Tiantian what the general tasks out of the village are. Before graduation, Tiantian didn't talk to her in detail, but now she wants to take the initiative to understand. That's right. Seeing Hanada's appearance, Tiantian smiled and was very happy about Hanada's transformation. Then he said hello to Lin Mo and ran to the backyard to practice. And Lin Mo continued to look at the incomplete eight gates. Although he didn't learn it now, it would be no problem to see it and get familiar with it in advance. Speaking of which, the third generation is really a thief. Even the seal book given to Uzumaki Naruto was tampered with. Thinking of this, Lin Mo was speechless. At least, six gates are missing. Looking at the incomplete scroll of the eight gates in his hand, Lin Mo sighed. The third generation is really nothing. That is to say, if Uzumaki Naruto didn't open the comics, it would still be this sealed book. Shaking his head, Lin Mo didn't think about it anymore, but continued to watch. While Lin Mo was watching, on the other side, in Uzumaki Naruto's home, Uzumaki Naruto was sitting cross-legged on the bed, with the elf eggs and comics between his legs, scratching his head frantically. It's so annoying, how to make money. But he knew that he could only open 10 jars within 7 days. If he didn't open 10 jars in 7 days, then if he opened the jars again in the next 7 days, it wouldn't be superimposed. It's uncomfortable. Uzumaki Naruto looked painful. Or, sell this egg. The next second, Uzumaki Naruto looked at the Charmander elf egg in front of him, pinched his chin and thought. No one would buy this thing. After all, it looks like an egg. 
how could anyone be willing to spend 100,000 tails to buy it? Alas, it's a partner, I can't sell it. I want to wait for it to hatch. Uzumaki Naruto muttered, I don't know when it will hatch. Alas, it's really troublesome. While muttering, Uzumaki Naruto continued to flip through the comics tirelessly. Even though he had flipped through the comics several times, he still wanted to find clues to make money. It's a pity that there are only 10 chapters. It would be better if there were more. No, why do I feel so sleepy? Uzumaki Naruto, who was talking, suddenly felt a wave of sleepiness. He rubbed his eyes subconsciously. For some reason, he felt that his eyelids were so heavy today as if they were pressed by a thousand pound stone. Impossible, didn't I sleep well? Forget it, I just went down, let's take a nap. Looking at the scorching sunlight outside, Uzumaki Naruto decisively decided to take a nap. The afternoon sun shone through the window into the house. Naruto Uzumaki lay on the bed, his eyelids becoming heavier and heavier, and sleepiness surged like a tide. Naruto Uzumaki originally planned to take a short nap, but just as he was sleeping, he suddenly felt a faint pain in his body, as if a weak force was stirring in his body. The pain in his stomach became more and more obvious. Although it was not severe, it was enough to pull Naruto back to reality from his dream. Ha, huh, Naruto, who felt that he had just laid down not long ago, suddenly frowned and opened his eyes in a daze. He subconsciously reached out and pressed his stomach to relieve the inexplicable pain. Why is it night? But the next second, after Naruto Uzumaki opened his eyes, he was instantly awake. The room had become extremely dark. The original afternoon sun had long disappeared. The dark night outside the window poured in through the window, and the thin moonlight was reflected in every corner of the room. What the hell? Looking at the night outside, Uzumaki Naruto was shocked. It was just a short nap in the afternoon, how come it was already night when he woke up? The next second, Uzumaki Naruto saw a flashing red light and widened his eyes again. The little Charmander egg that he was holding was emitting a faint red light. The red light was not dazzling, but it was particularly strange and conspicuous in the dim room. Seeing this scene, Naruto was stunned, staring at the egg with wide eyes, and his heartbeat suddenly accelerated. Because he felt that the chakra in his body was slowly draining away. And the source of this suction force was the glowing egg in front of him. He suddenly woke up with a stomachache because of this egg. What the hell? Is it going to hatch? Looking at this flashing red elf egg, Uzumaki Naruto was confused. How could this thing absorb his chakra? As Uzumaki Naruto woke up, the Pokemon egg was still emitting red light, which became stronger and stronger, as if it was absorbing his chakra at a faster speed. Naruto clenched his teeth, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He could have pushed the Pokemon egg away, but he didn't do it. After a long while, Uzumaki Naruto only felt that he was so tired. As the red light on the eggshell became more and more dazzling, his consciousness gradually blurred, and everything in front of him became more and more unreal. Naruto subconsciously reached out to touch the egg. However, as soon as his fingers touched the eggshell, a hot energy was transmitted from the eggshell and hit his nerves directly. It's so hot, Naruto screamed and quickly retracted his hand. The next second, the eggshell suddenly stopped vibrating, and the light gradually dimmed, completely returning to calm. Feeling that his stomach was no longer painful, Uzumaki Naruto looked at the little Charmander Pokemon egg with a confused look. This thing just stopped. Uzumaki Naruto went forward and fiddled with it, but found no changes. What a strong heartbeat. But the next second, Uzumaki Naruto could feel a strong heartbeat in this Pokemon egg. Is it about to hatch? But it's about to hatch, why is there no movement? How about asking the owner tomorrow? Looking at the calm appearance of this Pokemon egg, Uzumaki Naruto was very distressed. The reason why he didn't stop the elf egg from absorbing his chakra just now was because he thought the egg might be about to hatch. As a result, when the red light flashed crazily, there was no hatching at all, which made Uzumaki Naruto speechless. After observing carefully for a while, after discovering that this elf egg had really not changed at all, Uzumaki Naruto decisively decided to ask Lin Mo tomorrow morning. It's better to go to bed now. Originally he felt quite energetic, but the feeling of chakra being absorbed just now made him very uncomfortable and wanted to continue sleeping. Uzumaki Naruto fell into sleep again. 
A night of silence. Early the next morning, sunlight poured into the room through the curtains, and the soft light slowly illuminated the entire space. Uzumaki Naruto slowly opened his eyes, still feeling a little hazy with sleep in his mind. Stretching lazily, feeling that every part of his body was fully rested, Uzumaki Naruto sighed, Ah, it feels so good. The sleepy feeling from last night had completely disappeared, replaced by a long-lost sense of comfort. Forehead. However, when Uzumaki Naruto squinted his eyes out of the window habitually, he suddenly made a discovery. The sunshine outside the window is already very bright, and there is not a trace of cloud in the sky. It was obviously morning time. Forehead. Looking at this time, Uzumaki Naruto looked strange and muttered. Sakura and Sasuke should already be waiting for the late Kakashi Sensei. I remember Kakashi Sensei didn't go over until noon, so there's no rush. Now it's better to take the Charmander elf egg and ask Mr. Lin Mo. Thinking of what he saw last night, Uzumaki Naruto quickly got up. He didn't even bother to get up and went straight to the jar shop. This elf egg is more important. When Uzumaki Naruto thought so. The other side. The meeting point specified by Kakashi. Location for Wilderness Survival Exercises. Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura looked at the arriving Kakashi expressionlessly. Especially Haruno Sakura, gritted her teeth and said, Kakashi Sensei, you are late. Haha, sorry. Kakashi scratched his head and said, Sorry, I got lost on the road of life today. Come. As he spoke, Kakashi took out an alarm clock from his backpack and placed it on the tree next to him. Just as he was about to speak, he suddenly turned around and glanced at Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura. The corner of his mouth suddenly twitched slightly, where's Naruto? Naruto, like you, is not here either. Haruno Sakura was speechless. Sasuke and I have been waiting here since the beginning of the morning. Thinking of how busy I was this morning. Looking at Kakashi who was walking leisurely and Naruto Uzumaki who had not yet arrived, Haruno Sakura roared with anger in her heart. Kakashi. Kakashi rubbed his eyebrows with a headache. He thought about many situations, but he never thought that Naruto would be late. Because in his opinion, this is impossible. That crane tail. Next to him, Uchiha Sasuke said calmly, I said that yesterday, so it seems normal that he won't come. Forehead. Kakashi and Haruno Sakura were stunned when they heard Uchiha Sasuke's words. They instantly thought of Uzumaki Naruto saying with surprise yesterday that there was such a good thing. The two fell silent suddenly. Wait a minute. Kakashi's eyes were deep and his tone was faint. I want to see if this kid will come today. As he spoke, Kakashi adjusted the alarm clock and started timing. Seeing this scene, Uchiha Sasuke narrowed his eyes. Timing for what? Haruno Sakura, on the other hand, had a bad feeling in her heart. And at this moment, in the jar shop, Lin Mo, who had not been up for long, looked at Uzumaki Naruto running towards him, listened to what Uzumaki Naruto said, held his chin and fell into deep thought. This Charmander elf egg actually absorbed Uzumaki Naruto's chakra. This was beyond his expectation. What should I do, shopkeeper? Naruto Uzumaki held the elf egg in his hand anxiously and said quickly, what is going on? Fine, Lin Mo shook his head slightly and said, the elf egg lacks the energy to hatch. You should know that some creatures require a lot of energy when hatching, and this elf egg is no exception. Yesterday when you slept with it in your arms, you must have come into contact with it with chakra, so it triggered it to automatically absorb your chakra when it lacked energy. Besides a little pain in your stomach, is there anything else going on? So that's it. Upon hearing Lin Mo's explanation, Uzumaki Naruto suddenly looked stunned. There is none left. The next second, Uzumaki Naruto shook his head and said, After this elf egg stopped absorbing chakra, my stomach no longer hurts. Then I heard a loud heartbeat inside the eggshell. It was much stronger than during the day yesterday. Well, it seems like it doesn't require much energy. It's normal. Immediately, Lin Mo nodded. Don't worry, just keep taking it with you. When the elves hatch, they look like white light, not red light. Phew, that's good. Upon hearing Lin Mo's words, Uzumaki Naruto let out a long sigh of relief. Then shopkeeper, a leave first. There's a survival drill today. The next second, Uzumaki Naruto glanced at the big sun outside. It was already noon. 
he immediately bid farewell to Lin Mo and left the jar shop. Strange, will the opened elf egg still lack energy? Watching Uzumaki Naruto leave, Lin Mo looked surprised. A thought, a Charmander elf egg emerged. He did not feel that this Charmander elf egg lacked energy at all. The elf eggs you open just need to wait for them to hatch. Is it linked to Uzumaki Naruto's chakra? Thinking this again, Lin Mo pressed his hand on the elf egg to mobilize the chakra in his body. Buzz, for a moment, the Charmander elf egg, which was originally very calm, suddenly started to vibrate slightly. Lin Mo could clearly feel that the chakra he mobilized was absorbed by this elf egg. This process only lasted a while. After Lin Mo interrupted the chakra in surprise, the elf egg regained its calmness. Under Lin Mo's perception, the heartbeat inside the elf egg became a little louder. Seeing this scene, Lin Mo understood. Although the elf eggs do not lack energy, you can also add energy to the elf eggs when hatching. Lin Mo was relieved when he thought that some elf eggs in the elf world were placed in a petri dish filled with culture fluid and used a special incubator when they were hatched. He didn't care about this thing before. If Uzumaki Naruto hadn't come over today and said, he wouldn't have taken out this elf egg. E.H. Just when Lin Mo was thinking this, a surprised voice suddenly sounded. I saw Tiantian jumping in and out of the jar shop. When he saw the elf egg in Lin Mo's hand, Tiantian's eyes suddenly widened, isn't this the elf egg from before? She had witnessed the elf eggs created by Uzumaki Naruto before. Why does Lin Mo also have it? Oh, no, what the hell is this? Lin Mo sells jars, so it is not normal to have elf eggs. For a moment, Tiantian scratched his head and was no longer shocked. Lin Mo can sell all kinds of magical jars, so it's not surprising that he comes up with something magical. Um, Lin Mo nodded. Can I touch it? Tiantian looked at Lin Mo with a hopeful look on his face. Just touch it. Elf eggs. She wanted the elf very much. Sure. Hearing Tiantian's words, Lin Mo laughed dumbly and handed the elf egg to Tiantian. Tiantian immediately touched it fondly. This elf egg shouldn't hatch in a short time. On the other hand, Naruto's side is probably about to hatch. After all, he was crazy about sucking Uzumaki Naruto's chakra last night. Uzumaki Naruto's chakra is not ordinary chakra, it is also mixed with the aura of the nine lamas. Even if the seal is not leaked, there will still be traces of the nine lamas, chakra mixed in it under normal circumstances. When Lin Mo thought so. Uzumaki Naruto held the backpack containing the Charmander elf egg in one hand and the paper Kakashi gave him yesterday in the other. He was looking around and murmured, this should be the right way. With that said, Uzumaki Naruto continued to move forward. Soon, we arrived at our destination. At the destination, Kakashi, Uchiha Sasuke, and Haruno Sakura were squatting on the ground around the fire. When they noticed the arrival, the three people looked over with faint eyes. Naruto, you idiot, you're late. Haruno Sakura was the first to roar. Do you know how long we have been waiting? We didn't even eat lunch. In front of Haruno Sakura, there was a pot of burning stew. I don't know who brought the charcoal to burn below. Apparently, this was lunch for three people. Ah ha ha ha, I'm sorry. Hearing Haruno Sakura's words, Uzumaki Naruto immediately scratched his head in embarrassment and said ha ha, I got lost on the road of life today. Haruno Sakura, Uchiha Sasuke, Kakashi. Hearing Uzumaki Naruto's excuse, Haruno Sakura's eyes widened and she subconsciously looked at Kakashi. Why did Uzumaki Naruto also use these words? Did these two guys discuss it yesterday? The corner of Kakashi's mouth twitched slightly, and then he said calmly, Naruto, in view of your tardiness today, your disbandment this afternoon will last until the evening, not excluding late night. What? Hearing this, Haruno Sakura's expression changed drastically and she said angrily, it's obviously Naruto's problem, why are we being dragged away too? Going back late at night, that's not good for girls' skin. Uchiha Sasuke just frowned slightly and didn't say anything. He didn't seem to care about going back late. Uzumaki Naruto shrugged nonchalantly, isn't it just a matter of going back late? What's the big deal? And he already knows the content of the assessment. Kakashi. Seeing that only Haruno Sakura reacted at the scene, Kakashi had a headache. Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke are simply two troubled teenagers. Forget it, I'll tell you directly. 
The next second, Kakashi turned the alarm clock over and adjusted it, saying, It's 12 o'clock now, I adjusted it to 14 o'clock in the afternoon. I currently have two bells in my hand. As long as you grab these two bells before 14 o'clock in the afternoon, your mission will be completed. Those who can't grab the bells within the specified time are not eligible to finish dinner. And they will be tied there and watch me eat lunch. Speaking of this, Kakashi pointed to the three pillars prepared not far away. But you only have two bells. Uchiha Sasuke frowned and looked at the bells in Kakashi's hand. Let's not talk about grabbing bells from the hands of the senior ninja. Just the two bells here mean that someone will be tied up. Yes, Kakashi nodded lightly and said. Those who can't grab the bells will be eliminated due to mission failure and return to school. No way. Hearing this, Haruno Sakura's face turned green. Are you serious? Uchiha Sasuke frowned. Going back to school means delaying becoming a genin for another year, which is not acceptable. Ha! Huh. Haruno Sakura suddenly saw that Uzumaki Naruto's bag was glowing red, and was immediately surprised and said, Naruto, what is in your bag? It's actually flashing and glowing. As Haruno Sakura spoke, Uchiha Sasuke and Kakashi looked over at the first time. Glowing. At this time, Uzumaki Naruto looked at the bag in his hand containing the Charmander egg, and his face was also ecstatic. Doesn't that mean that it's about to hatch? Naruto Uzumaki didn't care about Kakashi and the others being there. He quickly took out the Charmander egg from his bag. This one, Haruno Sakura, Uchiha Sasuke, and Kakashi also saw this egg. When they saw that it was a strange egg, their faces were all strange. Has Naruto Uzumaki been holding this thing since yesterday? Wait, this kind of energy. Suddenly, Kakashi was attracted by the energy in this egg, feeling the specialness of this energy, and was slightly surprised. What kind of energy is this? How come he has never felt it at all? From the egg in Naruto's hand, he speculated that it was the egg of some kind of summoned beast. After all, only summoned beasts can be so strange. The eggs of ordinary animals will not emit this kind of light. But she didn't remember that summoned beasts appeared from eggs. Kakashi frowned slightly. While Kakashi was looking at it, Uzumaki Naruto had already put the elf egg on the ground, and looked at the little fire dragon egg that was emitting white light with excitement. At this time, the fire dragon egg was still shaking, as if it wanted to get out. What kind of egg is this, Naruto? Haruno Sakura approached with curiosity and said, how can an animal hatch like this? Uzumaki Naruto turned a deaf ear to Haruno Sakura's words, which made Haruno Sakura's face dark. Time passed bit by bit. Under the gaze of everyone, the little fire dragon egg that was shaking and emitting white light suddenly burst into a dazzling white light. The sudden white light made Haruno Sakura, Uchiha Sasuke and Uzumaki Naruto close their eyes subconsciously. Kakashi also narrowed his eyes, but did not close them completely. A few seconds later, the white light dissipated, the eggshell broke silently, and the little fire dragon walked out of the eggshell. Is this Charmander? Looking at this thing, Uzumaki Naruto widened his eyes, it's only this big. Didn't the shop owner say it was a dragon? How come this thing is naked? Looking at this stupid thing, Uzumaki Naruto's mouth twitched slightly. He suddenly felt cheated. Good, so cute. Compared to Uzumaki Naruto with twitching mouth, Haruno Sakura's face was full of surprise. This Charmander is really cute. Charmander. Kakashi caught the words that Uzumaki Naruto just said, and looked at Charmander with a strange expression. The name of this creature is Charmander. Thinking of the dragon condensed by the water dragon bullet, and looking at this thing, Kakashi's mouth twitched slightly. This can't be called a dragon at all. In Kakashi's opinion, the creature called a dragon is the huge body condensed in ninjutsu. And this stupid thing in front of him doesn't seem to have any attack power at all. Like a strange summoning beast. Ah, at this time, the little fire dragon that appeared in front of Uzumaki Naruto was rubbing against Uzumaki Naruto with a well-behaved face, as if it had recognized Naruto, giving people a feeling of dependence. Even if Uzumaki Naruto stretched out his hand to poke his head, the little fire dragon was very obedient and kept rubbing against Uzumaki Naruto's hand. Really, it's cute. Feeling the favor of the little fire dragon, Uzumaki Naruto suddenly felt love in his heart. This little guy is his companion. While thinking so, 
Uzumaki Naruto stretched out his hand to pick up the little fire dragon, held it high, and looked at it carefully. Especially the flame on the little fire dragon's tail, which attracted Uzumaki Naruto's attention. The owner Lin Mo said. The flame on the tail of this little guy can show its emotions. When it is happy, the flame will sway. If it is angry, the flame will burn fiercely. When it is born, there is fire burning on its tail. When the fire on the tail goes out, its life is over. Naruto, where did you get this cute little guy? Sakura came over with sparkling eyes and asked quickly, Did you buy it? Or where did you get it from? Why is it called Charmander? If she could buy one, she would also like to get one. This kind of summoned beast can't be bought. Uchiha Sasuke looked at Charmander coldly and said, It should be obtained from the world where the summoned beast is. This seems to mean that Uzumaki Naruto has mastered the reverse summoning technique. But it seems that this little guy is not very powerful. It is just a pet with no threat. After taking a look at Charmander, Uchiha Sasuke spoke slowly. This thing has no attack power at all. Only the flame on the tail can make it take a look. But it's just a glance. You know shit. Hearing Uchiha Sasuke's words, Uzumaki Naruto sneered, My Charmander has these three growth stages. It will become a medium-sized and large-sized Charmander. You will definitely be surprised when the time comes. This is what the store owner said, he will never lie to him. Uchiha Sasuke, Haruno Sakura, Kakashi. Hearing Uzumaki Naruto's words, Uchiha Sasuke's mouth twitched slightly. Looking at the stupid little Charmander, Uchiha Sasuke was speechless. The so-called growth stage, isn't it just getting bigger? Even if this thing gets several times bigger, it's still the same as before. This is the growth process of some summoned beasts. Ah, at this moment, the little Charmander held by Uzumaki Naruto suddenly twisted his body and shouted at Uzumaki Naruto. What do you mean? Seeing the shouting Charmander, Uzumaki Naruto was confused. While putting down the little Charmander, he looked at the shouting Charmander and suddenly realized, I understand, you are hungry, right? By the way, it is just born and needs to be supplemented with food. Well, wait, thinking that he had no food on him, Uzumaki Naruto subconsciously looked at the pot of soup next to him. Wait, Naruto, looking at Uzumaki Naruto's eyes, Haruno Sakura's face changed drastically, that's our lunch. Teacher Kakashi made it himself. They haven't eaten it yet. If this little guy eats it, what will they eat? However, Uzumaki Naruto turned a deaf ear to it, picked up his bag decisively and rushed over, and directly picked up a red charcoal with flames under the stew pot. Then he threw it in front of Charmander, and laughed, Eat it, since you are called Charmander, you should eat things related to fire. When I learn fire escape next time, I will treat you to fire. Uchiha Sasuke, Haruno Sakura, Kakashi. Ah, Charmander looked at the charcoal thrown in front of him, and suddenly black lines appeared on his head. How could his master be so unreliable? Charmander turned his body angrily, and the tail behind him twitched, and with a snap, the burning charcoal flew out. Then he protested to Uzumaki Naruto angrily. It doesn't want to eat this. Ah, don't you like it? Uzumaki Naruto scratched his head. In Uzumaki Naruto's opinion, this little guy shouldn't eat ordinary things. After all, he even eats chakra. So Uzumaki Naruto didn't even consider the food that people eat just now. Stupid Naruto, this little guy has suffered so much following you. Haruno Sakura was speechless. Why don't you sell it to me and I'll raise it? No, Uzumaki Naruto immediately refused. This little guy is his little friend. Ah, and Charmander smelled the pot of stew, blinked his big watery eyes at Uzumaki Naruto and pointed at that thing. Obviously, it wanted to drink that. Ah, this is not mine, this is Kakashi's lunch. Uzumaki Naruto scratched his head and turned to look at Kakashi, Kakashi teacher. Eat it, Kakashi looked at Charmander with interest and nodded. Hearing Kakashi's words, Charmander's eyes lit up and he immediately ran over. He jumped in without hesitation and drank it in big gulps. My soup. Seeing this, Haruno Sakura's face turned green, what shall we eat for lunch? They are still hungry, you can eat Bingliang pills. Uchiha Sasuke said calmly, while casually taking out a Bingliang pill from his waist bag and swallowing it. Haruno Sakura, she doesn't want to eat Bingliang pills. 
Okay, let's get back to business. Kakashi took his eyes away from Charmander and said calmly, the delay is long enough, it's time to practice, your task today is to pass my practice. Hearing Kakashi's words, Uchiha Sasuke's face was solemn. Haruno Sakura glared at Uzumaki Naruto with grief and anger, and ate Bingliang pills casually. After all, she snatched something from the hands of a senior ninja. Even if this senior ninja let her go, she would not have the strength if she was not full. It's all Naruto's fault, hee <laughs> hee, isn't it just an exercise? It's a piece of cake. Uzumaki Naruto rubbed his hands, squinted his eyes and said eagerly, Teacher Kakashi, how about I make a bet with you? Having read the comics, he is so strong. What bet? As long as we pass the test, you will lend me one million yuan, how about that? Uchiha Sasuke, Haruno Sakura, Kakashi. Hearing Uzumaki Naruto's words, Uchiha Sasuke's mouth twitched slightly. How much does this Naruto need money that he has to bet at this time? The most important thing is that they pass the test. Kakashi lends money to Naruto. One million more. Kakashi's eyelids also twitched. This is the second time Uzumaki Naruto has spoken. Thinking of what Uzumaki Naruto said yesterday, which was inconsistent with the information he had obtained, Kakashi narrowed his eyes. If you pass my test, I can lend you some money, not millions, but at least you can pay back the money you owe Aruka. You even know this. Hearing Kakashi's words, Uzumaki Naruto widened his eyes. Did Aruka teacher tell you? No, I checked it. Kakashi said calmly. Okay, let's start. As a ninja's basic basic skills, even if it is an assessment, concealing your breath and hiding are the most basic. I'll give you three minutes. Said, Kakashi turned around and turned his back to the three people. Hearing Kakashi's words, Uchiha Sasuke turned around and left without hesitation. Haruno Sakura also looked serious and quickly left the place. Kakashi nodded with satisfaction when he noticed that Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura did not hesitate. But the next second, Kakashi's eyelids twitched and he turned around instantly. I saw Naruto Uzumaki running behind him at some point, and reaching out to touch his bell openly. Crack, Kakashi grabbed Uzumaki Naruto's hand, with a dark expression on his face, one of the secrets of ninja fighting, the key to taijutsu, let me teach you, Naruto. Crack, while speaking, Kakashi grabbed Naruto and threw Uzumaki Naruto away easily. At the same time, Kakashi took out the kissing paradise from his satchel and narrowed his eyes. But the next second, he suddenly praised it and said, not bad. Uzumaki Naruto actually used his strength to hide when he was thrown out. So arrogant, you're actually reading a book. How much you look down on us. Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura, who were already hiding, looked at this scene with ugly expressions. They really want to know, are the ninja assessments of other classes the same? And at this moment, the other side, another training ground in Konoha. Inazuka Kiba and Aburame Shino looked at Yuhi Kurenai in front of them. Inazuka Kiba frowned and said, Ms. Kurenai, where is our teammate Hanada? Isn't he here today? They waited for a long time yesterday, but Hanada didn't come. So Yuhi he Hong disbanded. As a result, we gathered today and haven't seen Hanada yet. Hanada is undergoing special family training and will not be able to return to the team until at least two days later. Yuhi Hong said in a deep voice, what you have to do now is to exercise first. Don't worry that Hanada can't keep up with your progress. Be prepared, we may leave the village in three days. Yes, hearing Yuhi Kurenai's words, Inazuka Kiba frowned slightly, but still nodded. The teacher has said so, and the Hyuga clan is a big family, so it is normal to have special training. You should exercise first and take advantage of your strengths. I will test you when I come back in the evening. Yuhi Hong ordered as she walked, I still have things to do. You should exercise first and don't be lazy. Yes, hearing Yuhi Kurenai's words, Inazuka Kiba nodded. While watching Yuhi Kurenai leave, Inazuka Kiba looked helplessly at Aburame Shino next to him. Oh, really, we have to waste another three days. These three days are boring again. I think we can go back to training in these three days. Um. Hearing Inazuka Kiba's words, Aburame Shino nodded slightly, making Inazuka Kiba's face darken. It's really troublesome to communicate with this guy. 
Especially when he thought that the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan was still a dull gourd, he became even more silent. How come you were assigned to this team? I don't know what teacher Hong is going to do. She has no mission. Inazuka Kiba thought of Yuhi Kurinai's departure again and sighed. If Kurinai Yuhi was here, he could ask about some interesting things. After all, Yuhi Kurinai Sensei is one of the rare beautiful female Junin in Konoha village. Teacher Yuhi Hong, you are not the one who can make the list. Aburame Shino glanced at Inazuka Kiba and said calmly, she and the Hokage-sama's son are childhood sweethearts. You have no chance. What nonsense are you talking about? Hearing Aburame Shino's words, Inazuka Kiba's face turned green. This was followed by a loud roar with a red face. In response, Aburame Shino just blocked the sound in her ears, which made Inazuka grit his teeth and wanted to punch Aburame Shino. At this moment, Yuhi Hong has left. Then he strode towards the direction of Ichiraku Ramen Shop, feeling relaxed. The snail noodles launched by Ichiraku Ramen Shop yesterday were very good. After she tasted it in the evening, she fell in love instantly. While Inazuka Kiba and Aburame Shino were exercising, he happened to have lunch at noon. When Yuhi Hong came to the door of Ichiraku Ramen Shop, she saw a long queue at the door and fell silent. Is it so hot? If it takes a while, I'm afraid it won't be my turn. Is it possible to keep waiting? I didn't expect that the handmade chef would make a delicacy of snail noodles. It's so delicious. I feel very uncomfortable if I don't eat all day. It is said that the hand-beating master stayed up late last night and made a lot of it. Oh, I came here to eat Ichiraku ramen, but the smell of snail noodles was everywhere in the noodle shop, and my ramen lost its taste. Don't worry, according to Shoda, Miss Chongpu seems to be opening a special snail noodle shop. She is currently selecting a location. It will be soon. Discussions one after another reached Yuhi Hong's ears, which made Yuhi Hong raise her eyebrows. Are you going to open a snail noodle shop? That's really good. Um, just when Kurinai Yuhi was about to walk into the queue, the sensory chakra suddenly released noticed a familiar fluctuation and suddenly narrowed her eyes. Isn't that what the Hyuga clan sensed yesterday, Hanada behind the Hyuga Hazashi concierge? He was actually walking quickly on a remote path, seemingly unwilling to be discovered. If it wasn't for his own chakra perception, he wouldn't have noticed it. Is there any secret? For a moment, Yuhi Hong had the urge to follow. The eldest lady of the Hyuga clan must be on her way so secretly at noon. There must be something going on. But when I think about it, this is the behavior of the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan, and there is no Hyuga clan's guardian ninja around her, it should mean that it is not a big deal. After all, if it is really related to the family's major events, Hyuga Hanada will be protected by ninjas. After thinking about it, Yuhi Kurinai decided to follow and see. As long as she is not discovered, Hyuga Hanada will not know. I just care about the students in advance. As ideas appeared in Yuhi Kurinai's mind one by one, Yuhi Kurinai suddenly felt comfortable, and her figure disappeared quietly and silently. With her strength, it is not too easy to follow a graduate of a ninja school without being discovered. Even if the other party is a famous family, the Hyuga clan. Ha, huh. as Yuhi Kurinai just caught up with Hyuga Hanada, she suddenly looked surprised. If she didn't perceive it wrongly, how could Hyuga Hanada have so much chakra in her body? If she didn't get close, she would release chakra to sense Hyuga Hanada who was using chakra to hurry on the road clearly. She even wondered where this chunin came from. Chakra perception was her most proud skill and talent. In her perception, Hyuga Hanada's body actually contained chakra far beyond the genin level. Even, and there was chakra that formed wind under her feet. Chapter 91 Seeing the wind formed by the familiar yet unfamiliar wind attribute chakra aura attached to Hanada Hayuga's feet, Kurinai Yuhi was shocked. She knew the aura of wind attribute chakra very well. If the wind attribute chakra talent is not obvious after birth, it will be difficult to master the nature of wind attribute chakra. Not to mention the change of developing and mastering the nature. It's not that I haven't seen Hanada's graduation registration information. The information did not say that Hanada still has wind attribute chakra. And looking at Hanada's appearance, it is obvious that she is very skilled. She has already transformed chakra into wind and attached it to her feet. Kurinai Yuhi fell into deep thought. With the rare wind attribute chakra, 
Hanada Hayuga will be noticed in the information of the ninja school, and she should be assigned to Asuma's team after graduation. Because Asuma himself has rare wind attribute chakra. However, Hanada Hayuga was not assigned. This means that the Hayuga clan is hiding Hanada's wind attribute chakra. This confused Kurinai. What is there to hide? Kurinai thought so while following Hanada, and soon saw that they were stopped at the door of a small shop. As soon as she arrived at the door of Tianmen, she saw a girl in short sleeves and heroic. Tiantian. Seeing the girl, Kurinai's eyes lit up slightly. This child was in Kai's team, and she had always wanted to transfer this girl to her own team. Unfortunately, this child has already become a disciple of Might Guy, which made her very sorry. There are not many girls with ninja talent, let alone those who have physical skills and space-time ninjutsu talents. And the family is not an ordinary family, it is a ninja tool shop. It made Kurinai feel regretful more than once that she was assigned to the class where Kai was. If she was there at that time, it would be great. Tiantian is a girl she likes very much. Ha, huh, but the next second, Kurinai saw Lin Mo at the door, and was stunned and squinted. Who is that young man? He looks pretty handsome, and doesn't have the temperament of a commoner at all. Is he a rich young man from the daimyo? Seeing that there was no ninja forehead protector on Lin Mo's forehead, she instantly judged that Lin Mo was not a ninja. Because she didn't sense the chakra in Lin Mo's body. Ha, huh, the next second, Yuhi Kurinai saw Tiantian and Tiantian saying goodbye to Lin Mo and running towards the backyard. There, you can see a large training ground. Obviously, it seems that they are going to train there. This means that what Hayuga Hiyashi told her about Hanada going to the Hayuga clan's special training was not true. Strange, training, why come here? Yuhi Kurinai was very confused. It seems that Hanada is sparring with Tiantian. Is Hayuga Hiyashi delaying time just to let Hanada and Tiantian spar? Although she is optimistic about Tiantian, it is better for Hanada to spar with Tiantian than to follow her for special training. Yuhi Kurinai was puzzled and stood in the dark for a while, watching quietly. While Yuhi Kurinai was watching. In the Kan shop. Lin Mo looked at Yuhi Kurinai who was hiding in the corner of the wall within a thousand meters through the True Vision Guard, and his face became strange. Why did this woman come? Didn't Hanada say yesterday that she would return to the team in four days? Is the female ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village in the Land of Fire so idle? Looking at Yuhi Kurinai who was hiding in the dark and did not show up, Lin Mo shook his head gently. Although he didn't understand why Yuhi Kurinai did this, he didn't care. The most urgent thing is to learn this incomplete eight gates of ninja first. Although this thing is incomplete, it only lacks the six gates at the back, and the first two gates are perfectly preserved. This means that if Uzumaki Naruto continued to watch this incomplete eight gates of ninja carefully at that time, it is not impossible to learn it. Unfortunately, this thing is really difficult. The first door is to open the door, which is to remove the restrictions on the brain area to achieve the purpose of exerting 100% of the physical ability, and to overload the body's energy to increase attack and speed. The second door is to rest, remove the limit of physical fatigue, overload the body's energy to restore physical strength, and offset the fatigue caused by the speed of energy consumption when opening the door. Tisk. Lin Mo immersed himself in this scroll, continued to comprehend, and practiced. Time passed quietly. In the blink of an eye, it was two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Yuhi Kurinai, who had been watching all this, found that Hanada really practiced with Tiantian for a while, and then left directly. Although she didn't understand why Hayuga Hiyashi lied to her that Hayuga Hanada was undergoing special training for the Hayuga clan, but came here to train with Tiantian. But since she agreed, she would wait for Hanada to return to the team in four days. Bang! Just after Yuhi Kurinai left. In the jar shop, Lin Mo, who was practicing the incomplete eight gates, suddenly felt a strong vibration in his body. The vibration erupted from deep inside his body, as if a long sealed power suddenly awakened and penetrated his limbs and bones. Lin Mo instantly felt that the muscles and bones of his whole body seemed to be activated by a powerful force, and every part of his body was filled with an unprecedented sense of power. Is it the feeling of the first gate of the eight gates of ninjutsu? Feeling the power at this moment, Lin Mo was very interested. The increase after opening the first gate is indeed not small. With the current amount of chakra, 
if he walks out of the jar shop and opens the first gate, he will have enough power to rival the Jonin. When he thought that he was only rivaling the Jonin, Lin Mo's face darkened and his joy disappeared instantly. Even the Jonin is cannon fodder in the ninja world. Unless he is at the level of cage. Without any hesitation, Lin Mo decisively continued to refine chakra. Although there is no threat now, being in Konoha village is the biggest threat. While Lin Mo continued to refine chakra, Yuhi Kuranai, who had already left, also returned to the side of Inazuka Kiba and Abarame Shino. Teacher Kuranai, looking at Yuhi Kuranai who came back, Abarame Shino quickly stood up and greeted him. Yeah, Yuhi Kuranai nodded. Thank you for your hard work. We can disband now. By the way, Teacher Kuranai, Inazuka Kiba suddenly thought of something and said quickly, Just now when we were training, my guy passed by here with Neji and Rock Lee. He also asked us about your whereabouts and said that we can get together when we are free, still at the old place. Oh, hearing Inazuka Kiba's words, Yuhi Kuranai raised her eyebrows and said, Kai. I see. As the leader of the ninja school, they usually get together when they are free in the village. I didn't expect my guy to come back too. Wait. Suddenly, Yuhi Kuranai thought of something and looked strange. That's not right, I clearly saw Tenten today. She thought Might Guy was also resting in Konoha, so Tenten was training there alone. But not only did Might Guy come back, but he also brought Rock Lee and Neji. Why didn't he bring Tenten? It's really strange. Thinking like this, Yuhi Kuranai said goodbye to the two students and walked towards the old place. Very quickly, Kuranai Yuhi came to a tavern. In a corner of the tavern, Might Guy was already sitting here, patting Rock Lee on the shoulder and encouraging him, Lee, eat more, only when you are full can you exercise better. Yes, teacher, Rock Lee showed off with a chicken leg in each hand. Next to him, Hayuga Neji was much more gentle. Hey, Hong, I didn't expect you to come so soon. Looking at Hong who came, Might Guy immediately showed his white teeth, I thought you would come tonight, but I didn't expect you to come so soon. I just met two of your students. I didn't expect you to just come back. Yuhi Kuranai sat down and shook her head, but did you go out of the village to do a mission? Why didn't you bring Tiantian with you? I saw Tiantian this afternoon. You saw Tiantian. Hearing this, Kai smiled and said, Tiantian currently has a teaching assistant mission at school, so it's not surprising that you saw Tiantian. I didn't go out of the village to do a mission either, I just went out of the village to exercise. Does Tiantian have a teaching assistant mission at school? Hearing this, Yuhi Kuranai pondered, but I saw her sparring with Hanada today. The students I am currently taking are Hanada, Inazuka Kiba, and Abarame Shino. Hearing Yuhi Kuranai's words, Hayuga Neji's movements suddenly paused. Yuhi Kuranai took a look and then retracted his gaze. Oh, Kai was pleasantly surprised and praised, it seems that Tenten is still working hard. She doesn't forget to exercise while doing her assistant teaching duties. Not bad, just right, let's see the results of her training tomorrow. Kai turned his head and looked at Rock Lee. Lee, Ninki, you two must not be outdone by Tenten. Don't worry, teacher. Rock Lee waved his fist. I have been exercising all the time. Very good. Looking at Rock Lee's fighting spirit, Kai nodded approvingly. Then we will go to Tenten's house later. By the way, I also need to find Kakashi. Speaking of which, I haven't found Kakashi all day today, and I don't know where he went. At this point, Kai was speechless. Kakashi is in charge of Team 7. Yuhi Kuranai looked strange. Compared with the team she was in charge of, Kakashi's team was the real headache. When Yuhi Kuranai thought so. On the other side, the place for survival exercises. Uzumaki Naruto was tied to the pillar with an expressionless face. He looked at Uchiha Sasuke who was panting on the left, and then looked at Haruno Sakura who was breathing continuously on the right, and his mouth twitched slightly. Sure enough, if you want to pass this test quickly, you still have to follow the comics. What do you think, Naruto? At this time, Kakashi looked at Naruto in confusion, you didn't come out for an afternoon. Don't you want to grab the bell? Since he announced the start of the exercise, Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura hid. Uzumaki Naruto ran over to grab the bell, but he was thrown out and fled. Then he didn't appear for the whole afternoon. Finally, Kakashi found Uzumaki Naruto in the river. Uzumaki Naruto hid in the water, 
holding a reed to breathe, and stayed there for a whole afternoon. He was stunned. Hearing Kakashi's words, Uchiha Sasuke and Haruno Sakura next to him looked over speechlessly. Forgot the time, Uzumaki Naruto sighed and said, Besides, Kakashi-sensei, are you testing teamwork? I think we haven't gotten along yet. How can we cooperate? If you ask me, I already know the meaning of your survival exercise. Quote. He had read the comics and had an insight into the future. Um, hearing Uzumaki Naruto's words, Kakashi narrowed his eyes, you know. Teamwork. Haruno Sakura and Uchiha Sasuke also changed their expressions. Of course, Uzumaki Naruto curled his lips and said, The purpose of conducting exercises in groups is to test teamwork, but even if we cooperate, we can't grab the bell from a Junin's hand. What you want to see is our cooperation. Although we are familiar with each other, but if we haven't worked together, how can we cooperate? Instead of doing this, it's better to just stay until now. To work as a team, we need to work together. Sasuke, a stinky guy, thinks that I am a burden. Even if I want to cooperate, I can't join forces with him. As for Sakura, it's the same. She only has Sasuke in her eyes, not me at all. How can she cooperate? She can't cooperate. Kakashi-sensei, you have to consider the actual situation. You surprised me so much. Hearing Uzumaki Naruto's words, Kakashi marveled, you actually understand the essence, but you are right. You know, so far, no one has ever passed the test from him, just because they didn't understand the essence. He could see that Uzumaki Naruto was not telling lies. He even saw the problem with Sasuke and Sakura. For the sake of your words, I'll give you another chance. Speaking of this, Kakashi narrowed his eyes. We will continue training in the evening, and the three of you can get along and discuss it. For your hard work today, Sasuke, this is dinner for you and Naruto. By the way, there's no need to give it to Sakura. Sakura didn't provide any help throughout the whole process. It's useless to be such a drag. Whoever gives it to you will be eliminated. With that said, Kakashi threw out two lunch boxes. I, hearing Kakashi's words, Haruno Sakura clenched her fists and wanted to say something, but she didn't know what to say. And Uchiha Sasuke suddenly fell silent. Uzumaki Naruto was speechless. Well, the feeling is that he turned into Haruno Sakura. Unfortunately, he didn't want to give it to Sakura. Unfortunately, the top priority is to pass the assessment. After all, Kakashi-sensei also agreed that if he passed the assessment, he would lend him money. And if he has money, he can open the can. Thinking of this, Uzumaki Naruto threw the lunchbox to Sakura before Kakashi left, and said quickly, Kakashi-sensei, don't test anymore. Isn't your test just to see if we are willing to give the food away? Give it to Sakura, I don't think it's necessary to waste time like this. Our running in can be completed completely by accepting tasks. While Uzumaki Naruto was talking, Sasuke calmly threw the lunchbox to Sakura. Naruto. Sakura looked at Uzumaki Naruto with a complicated expression. Kakashi. Why don't you follow the rules? Kakashi only felt a headache. Naruto is too smart. It completely disrupted his steps and plans. Never mind. Kakashi rubbed his eyebrows and said, We will meet here tomorrow morning. E.H. Hearing this, Uzumaki Naruto was surprised. We passed the exam. Kakashi-sensei wants to lend me money. No. Kakashi looked calm and said, You have not passed the assessment yet. This decision-making power is currently in my hands. Starting tomorrow, I will look at your performance. I can still tell whether you are serious about cooperation. The normal situation is that if you pass the test today, I will take you to take over the task tomorrow. If you fail the assessment, you will go back to school today. And you, Naruto. Speaking of this, Kakashi glanced at Uzumaki Naruto. I really don't know what to say to you. A good team survival exercise was messed up by Uzumaki Naruto, and Kakashi had a headache. Hey hey. Hearing this, Uzumaki Naruto chuckled, thank you for the compliment. I'm not complimenting you. The corner of Kakashi's mouth twitched slightly, with a black line on his head. Anyway, that's it for today, we will meet at noon tomorrow. With that said, Kakashi turned and left. Today's situation made him give up temporarily. I originally thought Uzumaki Naruto was just a naughty guy. The result was unexpected, and he didn't play according to the routine at all.
Don't leave, it's my money. Looking at Kakashi who was about to leave, Uzumaki Naruto's eyes widened and he shouted, I have already understood the meaning of the assessment, so why don't you lend me the money? However, Uzumaki Naruto's response was silence, which made Uzumaki Naruto wail a bit. It's over, I can't open the can again today. Next to him, Uchiha Sasuke watched this scene and was silent for a moment. He stood up directly, took out a kanai and cut the rope around Naruto Uzumaki, without looking back, see you tomorrow. Naruto, Haruno Sakura quickly looked at Uzumaki Naruto, thank you for today. If you thank me, just lend me the money. Uzumaki Naruto said in a faint tone, how much money can you offer? Is it 100,000? Haruno Sakura, hearing Uzumaki Naruto's words, Haruno Sakura's mouth twitched slightly. She suddenly didn't dare to move. But she immediately took out her wallet, counted it, and whispered, it's only 20,000. Forget it, see you tomorrow, Sakura. Uzumaki Naruto waved his hand casually, picked up the little fire dragon on the ground and turned to leave. Naruto, looking at Naruto who left as soon as he said he would, Haruno Sakura looked at Uzumaki Naruto with a confused look. She always felt that Uzumaki Naruto had changed. But she couldn't tell where he had changed specifically. It seemed like he had grown up suddenly. Watching Uzumaki Naruto's departure, Haruno Sakura left with a complicated expression and a little lost. I haven't passed the test yet, and I can't get the money. What should I do? At this time, Uzumaki Naruto, who was already holding the little fire dragon, looked uncomfortable. He was ready to pass the test today and take the money given by Kakashi teacher to open the jar. As a result, Kakashi even stopped the survival test and didn't give him the money. He wasted another day opening cans. It's really sad to think about it. This comic doesn't mention this situation. When Uzumaki Naruto was cursing in a low voice, Kakashi's figure appeared out of thin air, pinched his chin and pondered. It's really strange, why is Uzumaki Naruto so desperate for money? What on earth does he need money for? And where did the little fire dragon summoning beast come from? It seems that the spirit has no trace of chakra. Alas, I have to report today's situation tonight. Thinking of the instructions of the third generation last night, today's work needs to be reported, Kakashi sighed lightly. Let's go find Akai first. Just when Kakashi sighed and walked towards the old place. Not long after walking, an Anbu ninja appeared beside Kakashi out of thin air and said respectfully, Kakashi Junin, the third generation, please come. I see. Hearing this, Kakashi was stunned and nodded immediately. He immediately changed his direction and decisively used the teleportation technique. Soon Kakashi walked into the Hokage's office and saw the third Hokage who was dealing with something. How was your day? Looking at Kakashi arriving, Sarutobi Hiruzen raised his head and said with a smile, how are the children getting along? Well, it's a bit difficult. Kakashi shook his head slightly and said, Uzumaki Naruto and Sasuke have no problem staying in the team, but Haruno Sakura has no advantage at all compared to Naruto and the two of them. Yeah, but this is a companion, isn't it? The third Hokage smiled and said, the three of them are just right. Um, hearing the third Hokage talking about his companions, Kakashi nodded slightly and said, the first one to notice it was Naruto, followed by Sasuke. As for Sakura, she couldn't notice it at all. The only one who is truly qualified is Naruto. But Naruto is a kid with a single mind. My current survival drills are all stuck. Speaking of this, Kakashi had a slight headache. Naruto was the first to notice. Hearing Kakashi's words, Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes lit up, this is a good thing. Anyway, for the next mission, let's get them used up first. When the time is right, you need to tell me. Having said this, Sarutobi Hiruzen paused and said, I want to arrange a C-level mission. C-level mission. Hearing this, Kakashi frowned slightly and said, is it too fast? You know, a C-level mission is a mission out of the village. How long has it been? It's too late, not fast. Sarutobi Hiruzen shook his head slightly and said, Naruto now masters the art of multiple shadow clones. His strength is incomparable to that of ordinary ninjas. Naturally, he cannot be treated with common sense. Anyway, I'll still have to trouble you next. I see. After hearing what Sarutobi Hiruzen said, Kakashi was silent for a moment and nodded slightly, then I'll take my leave first. 
I have an appointment with Guy. Go ahead. As Sarutobi Hiraza nodded, Kakashi left immediately. Right. Looking at Kakashi leaving, Sarutobi Hiraza suddenly called out to Kakashi, took a puff of cigarette, and said, Do you know what the psychic beast is that is following Naruto? What ability does it have? My the monkey demon told me that it has never seen it. Ask your psychic beast, and ask Naruto to find out where the psychic beast came from. Quote. Hearing this, Kakashi frowned slightly without leaving any trace. The third generation actually knew about the little fire dragon next to Uzumaki Naruto. Did you go to see it from a distance in the afternoon? Kakashi glanced at the crystal ball on the third generation's desk without leaving any trace, nodded slightly and said, I have never seen that psychic beast. I will find an opportunity to ask Naruto about him and that psychic beast. The relationship between the two psychic beasts is very good. Hearing this, the third Hokage nodded. Then Kakashi left completely. Sarutobi Hiruzen was smoking a cigarette, looking at the Charmander drawn on the white paper in front of him, and fell into deep thought. The reason why this psychic beast attracts it is because of the flames on this psychic beast's tail. Click. At this time, the office door was pushed open directly. Before the third Hokage could raise his head, Danzo was pushed up and said coldly, Hiruzen, a strange psychic beast appeared next to the Jinchuriki. This psychic beast must be taken away for investigation. Even though Danzo couldn't stand up, he was lying weakly on the recliner, his voice was still cold, and his eyes were like poisonous snakes. If Sarutobi Hiruzen's Anbu hadn't stopped him from doing so, he had already captured that strange thing. It's just a psychic beast. Danzo, you're making too much of a fuss. Hearing Danzo's words, Sarutobi Hiruzen frowned and said, the child finally has a psychic beast he likes. He cannot take it away, but we still have to investigate. I have ordered special personnel to investigate. No, Danzo said coldly. I must take this psychic beast away. An unknown psychic beast appears in the village. This is a potential risk. We must eliminate this risk. If Sarutobi Hiruzen's Anbu hadn't stopped his men, his roots had brought back the Charmander next to the Jinchuriki. This psychic beast is harmless, Danzo. Sarutobi Hiruzen rubbed his eyebrows and said, let's talk about your situation. How do you feel now? You should go into the hospital and let everyone check you out instead of leaving the hospital. Hearing what Sarutobi Hiruzen said, Shimura Danzo's face darkened involuntarily. Sarutobi Hiruzen really doesn't want to open any pot. It must be the murderous hand of the Hyuga clan. Danzo gritted his teeth and said, Otherwise, who else in the entire village can discover the environment of our roots? For this matter, the Hyuga clan must hand over ten tribesmen with Byakugan to join the roots. Sarutobi Hiruzen. Hearing Danzo's words, Sarutobi Hiruzen took a breath. Danzo, you really dare to think. Not all members of the Hyuga clan will awaken the Byakugan. Still ten. No need to discuss this matter. Sarutobi Hiruzen said solemnly. Preparations are already underway for the Chunin examination. Danzo, you must not mess around. The village cannot go through any more hardships at the moment. Then after the Chunin exams, Danzo said resolutely, I am doing it for the village. Sarutobi Hiruzen, let's talk about it then. Sarutobi Hiruzen rubbed his brows and sighed softly, Danzo, you'd better recover your body first, and you're not suitable for traveling now. Send advisor Danzo back first. As Sarutobi Hiruzen spoke, Anbu ninjas immediately appeared, taking over the execution of the root ninjas and pushing Danzo out of the office. Thinking that Danzo had no strength now, he felt terrified in his heart. If it were him, wouldn't it be the same? Whose handiwork is this? He actually researched something so vicious. He couldn't even analyze A-level medical ninjutsu, and he had a severe headache. You know, the Chunin examination will be held soon. The venue is in Konoha, so there can't be any trouble. The only one who can survive in the dark is Danzo, but with Danzo's condition now, he doesn't know when his body will be able to recover. Just thinking about it gave him a headache. When the third Hokage felt a headache, Kakashi, who had already left, also walked in the direction of Himetkai's tavern. But when I was almost there, I suddenly stopped and looked in a certain direction. In that direction, Hanada Hanada and Tenten were walking while communicating. Kakashi instantly recognized Metkai's student Tenten. After one glance, Kakashi withdrew his gaze and continued to rush to his destination. 
Soon we arrived at the tavern. Hey, Kakashi, you're here. Seeing Kakashi arriving, Metkai immediately stood up and said excitedly, let's compete. Let's wait until tonight, Kakashi said quietly. I'm not in the mood right now. Oh, hearing Kakashi's words, Metkai was very surprised. What happened? Is it the small team of students you led that gave you a headache? Yes, Kakashi shook his head slightly and said, forget it, let's not talk about this. Speaking of which, I also saw your students on the way here. Tiantian, right, Metkai showed a bright smile. The Red Junin also saw it today. You didn't come early. The Red Junin left just now. How are the students in your team? Do you want to compare with my students? How about tomorrow? They haven't passed my assessment yet, so they are not considered my students. Kakashi said expressionlessly. So your plan failed. Forehead. Hearing Kakashi's words, Metkai's mouth twitched slightly. You are too strict with future students. This is not good. If I remember correctly, so far, no one seems to have passed Kakashi's test. Thinking of this, Metkai shook his head. In that case, I won't be able to compete with your team tomorrow. Forget it, drink, drink. Come. With that said, Metkai handed the bottle of wine in front of him to Kakashi. At the same time, the other side, Tenten left the can shop with Hanada Hanada, and after sending Hanada to her family, she went home. As soon as I came back, I saw my parents with smiles on their faces. My dear daughter, why did you come back so early? Seeing Tiantian coming back, Tiantian's mother was immediately surprised and said, It's not long after dark, didn't you have dinner at Lin Mo's place? Have eaten. Tiantian laughed. I still cook at Mr. Lin Mo's place. Originally I was training with Hanada, but the training ground over there doesn't have lights at night, so it's not suitable for training. After chatting with Lin Mo, Hanada and I came back. Mom and Dad, are you so happy? Did you make a lot of money today? As he said that, Tiantian narrowed his eyes. Good. Dad Tiantian said with a smile. Almost all the ninja tools have been sold today. This mechanism is still better. The only disadvantage is that it is a bit useless. I am thinking about changing it to something else, but I can't think of it. Right. Tiantian's father suddenly thought of something and said quickly, your teacher came here today and asked you to gather at the old place at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Teacher Kai is back. After hearing what his father said, Tiantian was stunned and nodded immediately, I understand. Then I have to go to bed early today. After all, teacher Kai said 6 o'clock, so they will be there at 5 o'clock. Thinking of this, Tiantian quickly entered the house and prepared to wash up and go to bed. Take this opportunity to have a good sleep, she was exhausted today. In this case, it seems that there will be no time to go to Lin Mo's side tomorrow. Just when I was going into the house to wash up every day, I suddenly thought that if I went to gather tomorrow, I might run out of time all day. I immediately felt depressed. Compared to the boring training, she still enjoys training with Lin Mo and training with Hanada. She also knew that Hanada would only be here these days. After you open the jar a few days later, it will be empty. Well, thinking that Hanada would be able to open the jar in two days, Tenten felt envious. She opened the can a day later than Hanada. So when Hanada opens the jar, she can't open the jar, it's painful to think about it. When Tiantian thought about it, in the jar shop, Lin Mo looked at the shadow clones in front of him speechlessly. With his current chakra, he can only split four shadow clones. He has learned this thing, but everything is based on the amount of chakra. These shadow clones can't help him practice at all. Too short of chakra. Thinking of the Sharingan and Wind Escape ninjutsu he mastered, whether it is B level or C level, Lin Mo sighed in his heart. You know, now he has integrated most of the things that everyone has opened from the jar so far, and the chakra in his body is not even close to the edge of the Jonin. This is, but fortunately, Five days have passed, and tomorrow will be the sixth day. In seven or eight days, Hanada can open the jar again. By then, there will be a dedicated jar. Thinking that today is the night of the fifth day, Lin Mo felt relieved. At the latest, he will be able to get the exclusive jar in two days. When the time comes, Hayuga Hiyashi, Hanada and Hanabi will open the jar. In addition to getting something about chakra, he can also get the exclusive jar. Sleep. Sleep, thinking so, 
Lin Mo decisively chose to close the door and go to sleep. Tomorrow morning, he will get up to refine chakra and practice the incomplete eight gates. No words all night. The next day, the sky just showed a glimmer of light, and the sky was still a faint blue-gray. The streets of Konoha village were still quiet, with only the occasional sound of wind blowing gently by her ears. Tiantian opened her eyes and felt refreshed. Last night's rest made her whole body full of vitality. Subconsciously sitting up and looking at the slightly bright sky outside the window, Tiantian breathed a sigh of relief, fortunately, it's okay. I went to bed early yesterday and got up early today. She was afraid that she would miss the time agreed by teacher Akai. Then Tiantian quickly got up, put on the ninja uniform neatly, and combed the iconic double buns neatly. Looking at herself in the mirror, Tiantian's eyes were full of expectation. I believe that teacher Kai could not have thought that in just a few days, her strength would have a qualitative leap. After packing up, Tiantian carried a backpack full of ninja tools and walked out of the house quickly. There was still a hint of coolness in the air in the early morning, and there was no one on the street. Only Tiantian's brisk footsteps echoed in the quiet village. At this time, Tiantian was in a good mood, and her pace unconsciously accelerated. The old place that teacher Kai mentioned was the training ground where their team usually gathered. The training ground was located on the edge of the village, surrounded by tall trees, and was an ideal place for physical training. She walked quickly through several streets and gradually approached the training ground. Soon, the familiar training ground appeared in sight. In that open space, there were already several familiar figures waiting for her arrival. From a distance, she saw the tall and straight figure, Might Guy was standing in the middle of the field, wearing his iconic green tights, with his arms folded across his chest, looking serious but smiling, and seemed to be in a good mood. Beside teacher Guy, Neji and Rockley had already arrived early. Neji stood there, leaning against a big tree, his eyes slightly closed, as if meditating or regulating his breathing. Rock Lee was doing warm-up exercises on the side, waving his arms and walking lightly, looking like he couldn't wait to start training. Good morning, Tenten greeted as she ran over, with a bright smile on her face. Hearing Tenten's voice, Might Guy tilted his head slightly and showed a relieved smile. Very good, Tenten, I haven't seen you for a few days, and you still haven't missed your training and you haven't been late. Very good. As he said, Might Guy gave Tenten a thumbs up. Today we are going to have a special training. As Might Guy's voice fell, Rockley immediately stopped his action, turned his head to look at Tenton, and said excitedly, Tenton, I am ready, I must break through myself today. At this time, Neji also opened his eyes. Although his face still maintained that calm expression, from his slight nod, Tenton could feel Neji's greeting. Might Guy looked at the three students in front of him and nodded with satisfaction. He could feel the fighting spirit and determination in each of them, which made him feel extremely proud as a teacher. Very good, everyone is here, so let's start today's warm-up training. Might Guy said excitedly, with a hint of excitement in his voice. Tenton, Neji and Rock Lee straightened their backs at the same time. They knew that the next step would be a harsh training, but it was this kind of training that made them stronger and stronger. They had long been accustomed to Might Guy's training method. Begin. With Might Guy's order, the three immediately started physical training. Rock Lee was the first to rush out, his footsteps were like the wind, and he quickly began high-intensity punch and kick training. Every move he made was full of explosive power and speed, his punches were whistling, his kicks were like thunder, as if the air was torn apart by his strength. It seemed that because of excessive force, Rock Lee's face was soon covered with sweat, but he was still fully focused and did not relax any movement at all. Ninki was practicing soft fist on the side. His movements seemed gentle, but every punch and acupuncture point contained precision and power. Even Nechi's white eyes were slightly open, perceiving all the changes around him. His movements were light and graceful, like a smooth dance, but there was a deadly force hidden in them. As the training deepened, Nechi's breathing gradually became heavier, and the sweat on his forehead rolled down, dripping on the ground, splashing tiny water. On the other side, Tiantian also quickly entered the state. She chose the basic physical training taught by Might Guy, which was mainly based on strength and speed. She punched and kicked, and every movement was full of power. However, unlike Rock Lee and Nechi, Tiantian's movements seemed more relaxed and free, 
as if these trainings were not too difficult for her. Her breathing was steady, and there was no sign of fatigue on her face. Instead, she had a calm expression. Tiantian was not surprised, because of the vertebral muscle strengthener prescribed by Lin Mo, her vertebral muscles will be greatly strengthened, and she can perfectly carry the physical training developed by Might Guy for her. As their teacher, Might Guy will develop corresponding ninjutsu according to her, Neji, and Rock Lee, targeting different training. These days, when I exercise, I have no pressure. In the past, I would sweat when doing this, but now, I don't. When Tiantian thought so, Might Guy also looked over. Because he found that Rock Lee and Neji had felt tired after a long period of exercise, their breathing became rapid, and sweat slid down their foreheads and bodies like rain. But even so, both of them felt the high intensity of the training, and they did not relax. They still gritted their teeth and tried to stick to every movement. But Tiantian's state is completely different. Although Tiantian did the same training with the two, her movements were still brisk and powerful, without any sense of effort. Her breathing was even more stable as before, and her body did not show any signs of fatigue, as if this high-intensity physical training was just a simple warm-up for her. Teacher Kai's eyes stayed on Tiantian, and a trace of surprise flashed in his heart. As Tiantian's teacher, he was very clear about the difficulty of this set of physical training, especially the load on the body. Even Rock Lee and Neji, who he trained personally, could not maintain such a relaxed state in such a short time. However, Tiantian seemed to be effortless, which obviously exceeded his expectations. This means that Tiantian has surpassed Hayuga Neji in physical skills. Tension's physical skills have reached this level. Teacher Kai thought secretly in his heart, with a trace of relief and amazement in his eyes. He had long known that Tiantian had a good talent in physical skills. But he didn't expect that Tiantian would improve so quickly without leading the team to do tasks and assisting in training even performed so well in this training. Time passed, and as the training progressed, Metkai kept observing Tiantian's performance. He did not interrupt Tiantian's training, but silently watched Tiantian's every move. Hey hey, sensing Metkai's gaze, Tiantian smiled proudly. At the same time, he continued to focus on his training, moving freely and smoothly without any panic. After fusing the vertebral muscle strengthener, she feels that her current physical strength is terrifyingly strong. At this time, Rock Lee was almost at his limit. Veins popped up on his forehead and his breathing was short, but he persisted and worked hard to complete every action. Although Neji's taijutsu was gentle, it also required a high degree of chakra control and physical strength. There was a hint of fatigue on his face, but he still remained calm and focused. And Tiantian is still refreshed with no trace of fatigue on his face. Her movements were still crisp and neat, as if the power in her body was endless and showed no sign of fading. Okay, let's take a rest for now. Seeing this scene, Metkai immediately signaled Neji and others to stop and rest. No, Teacher Kai, I can still continue practicing. Lok Lee, who had just stopped, was still a little unfinished. Even though there were drops of sweat on his forehead, he didn't feel tired and just wanted to continue practicing. Um, as he was speaking, Rock Lee subconsciously glanced at Tenten and Neji. When he saw the sweat on Ningji's forehead and no sweat on Tiantian's forehead, Rock Lee suddenly widened his eyes with a ghostly expression, Tiantian, are you lazy? How can you be lazy? Day by day, who said I was lazy? Tiantian, who stopped, put his hands on his hips and said very dissatisfied, I'm not lazy, I just didn't sweat. Four days ago, I opened a can at Lin Mo's place and prescribed vertebral muscle strengthening agent and I started training from time to time. The physical skills that Metkai designed for her have allowed her to train for a short period of time without getting tired. This also means that this set of physical skills has not improved her much. Tiantian is right, Lee. Metkai patted Lok Lee on the head and said cheerfully, Tiantian must not have been lazy during this period and even worked harder than you. Otherwise, the set of physical training I designed for her can only make her it will be beneficial for the next few months. But now, the effect of this set of physical training is not great for Tiantian. Tiantian can try new physical training. Obviously, while taking on tasks in the village every day and working as a teaching assistant, I haven't been lazy either. After hearing what Metkai said, Tiantian was dissatisfied and turned his head in embarrassment. 
Can she say that she trained just yesterday and the day before yesterday? There was no training before. I even went to bed early yesterday. The reason why physical skills have improved so much is because Lin Mo opened a can and got vertebral muscle strengthener. Impossible. Hearing Metkai's words, Rock Lee's eyes widened and he said, I have been training with you, Teacher Akai. Even when Neji was resting, I was training. I worked harder than Neji. And besides training every day, she also has to complete tasks. She doesn't have as much time to train as I do. How could it be possible to absorb your physical training from Teacher Kai so quickly? Neji. Hearing Rock Lee's words, Hanada Neji's face darkened. Just in time, look at Tiantian's training results. Seeing Lock Lee's eyes widening, Metke said cheerfully, You have a battle, and I will be the referee. Can. Hearing this, Rock Lee looked at Tiantian eagerly, then let's start now. In previous sparring sessions, he was the best in terms of physical skills. It can even be said that he is training Tenten and Neji. Tiantian's main focus is still the manipulation of hidden weapons and ninja tools, unlike him. Okay, seeing Lock Lee who is eager to try, Tiantian is also eager to try. Since taking that vertebral muscle strengthening agent, apart from training, she really hasn't had a good fight with anyone who knows Taijutsu. Now she is eager to fight against Rock Lee. As a teammate of Rock Lee, she knew how powerful Rock Lee's ordinary physical training was. When the two of them walked aside, Hanada Neji had already opened his white eyes and began to observe. No matter which time he fights, he will turn on his white eyes to observe. When I am normal, I often compete with Rock Lee. Then I declare, let's begin. Metkai walked between Tiantian and Lock Lee, his voice loud and full of passion. I am full of expectations for the duel between Tiantian and Rock Lee. Even if this scene has happened countless times. Aha! As soon as Metkai finished speaking, Rock Lee rushed out like an arrow from a string. His speed was extremely fast, and he was approaching Tiantian almost in the blink of an eye. Lock Lee's physical skills have always been known for his speed and strength. This time he did not hold back and went all out, intending to take the initiative from the beginning. Tiantian didn't panic at all. Her eyes were calm and focused. Facing Rock Lee's rapid offensive, she quickly took a step back and skillfully avoided Rock Lee's frontal attack. Then, she quickly punched Rock Lee in the side. So fast, Lock Lee was shocked. Compared to before, Tiantian's body reacts so quickly. He immediately adjusted his posture and raised his arms to block. Bang! In an instant, Lock Lee felt a strong force coming through Tiantian's fist, which made his arm numb slightly. Not to be outdone, Rock Lee quickly fought back. Using the flexibility of his lower body, he lowered his body and kicked Tiantian horizontally, trying to break her balance. Seeing this, Tiantian immediately raised her legs to defend herself. Her movements were light and fast. Her legs collided with Lock Lee's legs in the air, making a muffled, bang, sound. Bang bang bang. The duel between the two instantly became intense. Rock Lee's offense was fierce and swift, while Tiantian's defense and counterattack were deft and powerful. Although the physical combat between the two was just a simple confrontation of fists and kicks, it was full of a contest of strength and skills. Every punch and kick carried an unstoppable momentum. The sound of punches hitting the flesh was heard one after another, and the air continued to explode. How is this possible? Tiantian's performance made Rock Lee more and more shocked as he fought. He originally thought that although Tiantian had a certain foundation in Taijutsu, her strength was in controlling ninja tools, and Taijutsu was just an auxiliary skill for Tiantian. However, as the fight progressed, Lock Lee discovered that Tiantian's current physical skills not only far exceeded his expectations, but were even on par with his own in terms of speed and strength. This is impossible. Lock Lee was shocked. Physical skills have always been his specialty, but at this moment he actually felt a little out of his depth. You know, he specializes in physical arts. The most important thing is that Tiantian's reaction speed is astonishingly fast. Her movements were smooth and free, as if every detail had been carefully calculated, making it difficult for Rock Lee to find flaws. Bang! Just when Rock Lee fell into brief confusion, Tiantian suddenly launched a counterattack. With a swift forward charge, his body was like a stream of light, heading straight towards Lock Lee's defense line. Lock Lee immediately concentrated and tried to defend, but Tiantian's attack was beyond his expectation. 
Her fists and feet coordinate extremely well, her attack angles are tricky, and her power is also very precise. How can Tiantian's physical toughness be so exaggerated? Hanada Neji, who was watching the battle from the sidelines, couldn't help but his pupils shrank sharply. As a fellow member of Team 3, Neji naturally knew what Tenten was capable of. Although Tiantian's physical skills have always been good and very talented, even Metkai praised him. But Tiantian's main fighting method is to rely on ninja tools for long-range attacks. Neji didn't expect that Tenten's taijutsu could reach this level in such a short period of time. He actually fought against Lok Lee like this and still didn't lose. Neji's white eyes captured every detail of the fight between the two. He noticed that Tiantian's strength when punching was extremely delicate, and the switching between offense and defense was also very smooth, as if he had gone through countless training and honing. This level even surprised him, a member of the Hyuga clan who was famous for his physical skills and rolled his eyes. Especially the toughness of the body, which has not been shown before, it is too flexible. This kind of improvement. Metkai stood aside, his eyes fixed on Tiantian's every move, and he kept breathing in his mouth. His original expectation for Tiantian was to see the results of his physical skills. He knew that Tiantian's physical skills could never compare to Xiao Li's. But now, it is simply unbelievable that he and Xiao Li were evenly matched in a short period of time. How many days has it been? Tiantian is indeed good at using taijutsu and controlling, ninja tools, to attack. But mainly the back. But now, the physical skills displayed are actually on par with Lok Li. Even if it's just for a short time. Just the physical toughness and taijutsu skills shown every day are almost as good as any ninja who is good at taijutsu. When did this kid reach such a height in physical skills? Metkai was both surprised and delighted, and there was a look of surprise on his face. This kind of progress is what he wants to see most as a teacher. He knew that Tiantian like this would show greater potential in future battles. But here comes the problem. When Tiantian was training before, although Tiantian had physical talent, it was not that great compared to Lok Li. Teishu is just a better way to control ninja tools every day, instead of being on par with Rock Lee like he is now. Even if it's just for a short time. Normally, he would arrange for Neji to compete with Tenten in taijutsu competitions, or let Neji compete with Rock Lee. Tiantian only needs to be responsible for training in ninja tool control and some ordinary physical training. When it comes to taijutsu, Tiantian's taijutsu talent is inferior to that of Neji. But now, the taijutsu shown every day seems to be on par with Neji's. While several people were surprised, Tiantian became more and more excited as he fought. Because she really didn't expect that she would be able to fight Rock Lee until now. She could feel the chakra in her body surging towards the vertebral muscles, strengthening the vertebral muscles, so that the already strengthened vertebral muscles could be strengthened again. This also led to the fact that she and Rock Lee were now neck and neck in a pure physical duel. Not to mention, she has an advantage in controlling ninja tools. All of this was brought about by Lin Mo's jar. As long as you open the jar, you can really save the steps of cultivation. And there are still three days before he can open the can. Bang! Another straight leg swung over, interrupting Tiantian's thoughts. Lok Li's fierce attack continued to sweep over, and Tiantian also raised his leg without showing any weakness. Bang bang bang! The two of them went back and forth on the field, punching and kicking each other, and the air seemed to be filled with tension. When Tiantian kicked Rock Lee back and retreated, Rock Lee took a deep breath and stretched out his hand. If he didn't get something, he felt that his physical skills could not surpass Tiantian at all. Okay, Lee, at this time, Might Guy said loudly, it's just a simple exchange, no need to be so exaggerated, your weight training is not over yet. Yes, Teacher Kai. Hearing Might Guy's words, Rock Lee immediately said loudly, I will continue to train hard. Seeing this scene, Tiantian also smiled brightly and stopped moving. Reached out and wiped the sweat from his forehead. Although he felt tired, Tiantian felt relaxed all over. This kind of refreshing fighting feeling is really great. If I get another vertebral muscle strengthener, my physique will definitely be strengthened again. Thinking of this, Tiantian looked excited. Very good. Tiantian, you are beyond my expectation. At this time, Might Guy came over excitedly and laughed heartily, then next, I will give you weight training. Currently, 
only Rock Lee and Ninki have added weight training in the team. Among them, Rock Lee has added the most. Because they are originally targeting physical skills. But Tiantian is different. Although Tiantian has a talent for physical skills, it is mainly based on flexibility, so that he can better control ninja tools. Ninjas should use their own advantages. But now, if Tiantian continues to add weights to the physical skills he has shown, he can become stronger. I have no problem. Hearing Might Guy's words, Tiantian immediately spoke excitedly. After injecting vertebral muscle strengthener, she felt that ordinary training was no longer helpful to her. Even though her own ninja tool shop had weights, she didn't make and wear them immediately. Because she didn't know how heavy it was. Will that affect your ninja tool control? Rock Lee came over and gave Tenten a thumbs up. Tenten, although your physical skills have become very strong, your talent for ninja tool control is higher. If you carry weights, won't your ninja tool control be affected? If Tenten didn't have the talent for ninja tool control, she would just ignore it by adding weights helplessly. As long as it's not much, it shouldn't affect much. Hearing what Rock Lee said, Tenten said without thinking, I feel that following Mr. Kai's method now, I can't make any progress. Okay, then I'll check for you again today. Might Guy smiled and said, Your goal is to take part in the Chunin exam this year. Chunin exam. Hearing this, Rock Lee's breathing suddenly became rapid. You know, he has only graduated for a year. If you become a Chunin, you can get higher task authority and complete achievements in your life. Chunin exam. Hayuga Neji's eyes gradually became firm. So far, they are not Chunin. If they were Chunin, they would be qualified to lead missions and teams themselves, and even form teams to go on missions. Of course, being promoted to Chunin does not mean a complete graduation from guiding Jonin. Then take a break and continue training. Might Guy smiled and said, Today, I will summarize your situation as a teacher, and then continue to help you train in physical skills. By the way, Tenten. While speaking, Might Guy suddenly thought of something and smiled and said, How about you take care of the black turtle today? Ah, hearing Might Guy's words, Tenten looked embarrassed. Teacher Kai, I really don't like turtles. It's okay to take care of them, but I don't want to make a contract. Might Guy. The black turtle is also very strong. You have a talent for space techniques, and it can also help you block damage. Might Guy said earnestly, Think about it, when you throw a hidden weapon, if someone gets close to you, how will you defend yourself? At this time, the black turtle can help you, and you can even throw a hidden weapon against the black turtle. No, it's too ugly. Tenten's face was tangled for a moment, and he shook his head decisively. Generally, a ninja can only sign a contract with one summoned beast, because establishing and maintaining such a contract requires a specific agreement, a spiritual connection, and usually an exchange of blood, which are all tied to a specific type of summoned beast. If you want to sign more than one, it is not impossible, but it may be very difficult in practice. Each summoned beast requires a certain degree of spiritual and physical investment, and establishing and maintaining contracts with multiple summoned beasts may distract the ninja's attention and strength. Her target is not the black turtle. She prefers the elves now. Even if the elves are not summoned beasts and do not need to sign a spiritual contract, she does not want to waste her spirit to establish a connection with a summoned beast as ugly as the black turtle. Might Guy, Hayuga Neji, Rock Lee. Hayuga Neji and Rock Lee looked at each other. A summoned beast. This summoned beast is an important helper for every ninja. Metkai personally took the initiative to cultivate the relationship between Shuangui and Tiantian, and Tiantian was almost certain to sign the contract. But Tiantian is not willing to accept it. If ninjas who don't have psychic beasts in the outside world know about this, they will definitely be jealous and envious. Okay, seeing Tiantian's reluctance, Metkai said nothing more. In his opinion, Tiantian is just a child and doesn't know how important psychic beasts are. We'll find out later. When the time comes, I will slowly change my thoughts every day. Perfect. Okay, Lee, Neji, continue training. I'll see if you need to adjust your taijutsu training plan. Metkai immediately gave orders to Rock Lee and Hayuga Neji. Lock and Lee nodded immediately, and then began to continue training. Then the next step is to adjust your physical training for Tiantian, such as how much weight to bear. Seeing this, Metkai looked at Tiantian and praised, Maybe I was not careful before, but I didn't realize that your talent in physical skills is so strong. 
You must have trained a lot. Teacher, me. After hearing what Metkai said, Tiantian thought that he could tell Teacher Metkai about the jar. After all, Lin Mo had said that if possible, she and Hanada would bring more people to open the cans. Although she and Hanada felt that the jar matter should be kept secret and private, in her opinion, there was absolutely no problem in telling her teacher. Because his teacher is a Junin, he has a certain amount of money. That's not possible for Neji and Xiao Li. They don't have that much money to open the jar. After all, just one jar costs 100,000 tails. Xiao Li was trained by teacher Kai with financial resources. Even if he knew about the jar, he didn't have the money to open it. Well, I know you must have trained hard. Before Tiantian could finish speaking, Metkai nodded and continued, I understand, your body is so strong. If I had known, I would have continued to train you with me. It would have been a waste of time for you to accept the assistant teaching assignment at the ninja school. If you can achieve such growth in physical skills under such circumstances, you must be working much harder than Xiao Li. No, teacher, I. After hearing what Metkai said, I wanted to talk about the jar every day. As a result, before Tiantian could say anything, he was interrupted by Metkai. Yeah, I know you want to exercise more. You check the weight first, and then I will come up with a plan for you. Your family owns a ninja tool shop. I just need to come up with a training plan for individual techniques. Come on, let's try this weight first. With that said, he took off a weight from under his wrist and motioned for Tiantian to put it on. Day by day, Tiantian was speechless when he saw that Teacher Metkai did not listen to him at all. But Tiantian also knows that Teacher Kai is currently concerned about his physical training. Immediately, Tiantian temporarily gave up the idea of telling Metkai about the jar. Let's talk about it after the test is over. With this in mind, Tiantian immediately started using the weights provided by Metkai. So heavy, Tiantian took the weight-bearing wristband from Metkai. As soon as she started using it, she instantly felt a heavy pressure coming from her wrist, which almost made her lose her balance. Subconsciously, she bent her knees slightly and stabilized her body, but she could still feel the weight oppressing her shoulders and arms. The heaviness was far beyond her expectations. Tiantian couldn't help but smile bitterly in his heart. Is this the wristband that teacher Kai usually wears? It's really unimaginable that a teacher can carry such a heavy thing every day and still maintain such a high training intensity. Try to adjust your breathing every day, trying your best to adapt to this sudden weight on your body. She felt that this was not only a test of her physical endurance, but also a test of her willpower. Despite the difficulty, she was unwilling to show weakness in front of teacher Metkai. Immediately, Tiantian gritted his teeth and exerted slight force on his hands, trying to keep himself balanced. However, Tiantian didn't know that Metkai, who was standing next to her, looked moved at the moment. He originally just wanted Tiantian to feel the weight of this load, and did not expect Tianzhen to actually be able to hold it. After all, the weight of this wristband is unbearable by ordinary Chunin. Especially without special training. However, when he saw Tiantian successfully holding the weighted wristband despite some difficulty, a look of disbelief flashed in his eyes. When did Tiantian's physique become so strong? Even Xiao Li couldn't hold it when he took it. Tiantian's physical fitness far exceeded his expectations. He originally thought that this burden would be unbearable every day. It turned out not to be. This gave Metkai a new understanding of Tiantian's physical skills potential. It seems that I underestimated Tiantian's ability before. Metkai murmured in his heart. Immediately, Metkai planned a more rigorous and in-depth training plan for Tiantian. Time passed quietly. Throughout the morning, Metkai tested the weight he could bear every day without affecting his concealed weapon skills. Finally, it was finally finalized in the afternoon. At the same time, a set of physical training programs suitable for every day has been launched. At this time, Tiantian was still trying to adapt to the weight of the load, his breathing gradually stabilized, and his body was gradually adapting to this sense of oppression. Although the burden was still heavy, it no longer felt so unbearable to her. Instead, as her body adapted, she felt as if she was challenging herself and gradually breaking through her limits. Very good, Tiantian. Metkai nodded with satisfaction and said, Yes, Tiantian, your strength and perseverance are stronger than I thought. A training plan suitable for you has also been formulated. 
the current plan can keep you going for a long time, at least it lasts between six months and a year. That's awesome. Hearing Metkai's words, Lok Lee looked envious. Teacher Kai, can you design another plan for me? Now that new designs of physical techniques are being updated every day, he wants them too. You're good enough now, but you won't be good enough if you do more. After hearing Lok Lee's words, Metkai immediately shook his head and said, Although it is said that the stupid bird flies first, you must also adjust your body appropriately. Lok Lee's burden is enough. If you add any more, the gain will outweigh the loss. For Lok Lee's training, he also equipped Lok Lee with special plaster assistance, which is the most ideal effect. All right. Hearing Metkai's words, Rock Lee was immediately disappointed. Okay, that's it for today, disband. We'll come back at the same time tomorrow. Metkai said to Hyuga Neji and Tenten, Tiantian, your weight will be made at home today. I will try it tomorrow, and then I will help you perfect it. No problem. After hearing what Metkai said, Tiantian nodded heavily. Hyuga Neji also nodded, said goodbye to Metkai, and left. I don't know how you train Tiantian, if there is any secret. Lok Lee looked at Tian Tianxia and rubbed his hands, and said quickly, If you have any, please teach me. You know, he knows best what Tiantian's physical skills were like before. But today, he actually showed such a terrifying level of physical skills, which completely shocked him and didn't know what to say. He had wanted to ask before, but he couldn't bear it after seeing him training with Metkai every day and doing weight-bearing tests. Now that Metkai said it was disbanded, he couldn't wait to ask. Actually, there's no secret. Hearing Rock Lee's words, Tiantian smiled and said, Actually, I am. There are no shortcuts to physical skills. The secret is to practice, practice, and practice again. Before Tiantian could finish speaking, Metkai interrupted Tiantian and gave Rock Lee a thumbs up. Lee, let's train and run a few laps around Konoha village. Okay, no problem, teacher. Hearing Metkai's words, Rock Lee immediately stood up straight and shouted, I follow your orders. I actually don't really work out. Seeing that Metkai interrupted him, Tiantian scratched his hair frantically, Teacher Kai, can't you just listen to what I have to say? I can reach this level of physical skills only by taking shortcuts. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Just when Tiantian was about to tell him about the jar, Metkai waved his hand and interrupted Tiantian again, is there any shortcut in physical skills? Just kidding, I was the one who developed physical skills. I know very well how to improve physical skills. Lee, let's take action. Before Tiantian could finish speaking, Metkai immediately took Rock Lee and ran wildly, instantly raising a cloud of dust and leaving the place. Day by day, Tiantian suddenly felt a lump in his throat. If you don't want to listen, don't listen. Tiantian stamped his feet, turned around and left angrily, heading towards home. She also wanted to tell Metkai about Lin Mo's jar shop, but Teacher Kai interrupted her several times. She also gave up completely. When the time comes, wait until Teacher Kai regrets it. The top priority is to go back and build the matching load-bearing device first, and tell your parents. Thinking of this, Tiantian's pace quickened. Ha, huh, sold out so quickly. No, God, you should do more, I'm not happy yet. I just smashed open a jar to get the detonating talisman, and you're out of stock. You must be more prepared tomorrow. I don't know if it's an illusion, but I seem to think that the price of things like cans has increased today. Just when I returned to my ninja shop every day, I saw one after another passing by. Or people leaving their ninja shop, complaining to some ninjas. Apparently, Tiantian's father's ninja shop has been very popular these two days. Dad Tiantian is smiling, obviously making a lot of money. When he saw Tiantian coming back, he immediately smiled and said, Tiantian is back. By the way, Hanada came to see you this afternoon. I said you were training with the instructor, and she left. Said that if you come back early, you can go directly to the jar shop to find her. Quote. Oh, yes. After hearing what his father said, Tiantian immediately hit Zai's head with regret and said, I made an appointment with Hanada yesterday to spar with Hanada today, but I didn't expect that when I came back last night, I heard what you said, father. Talk about teacher Kai. When I left in the morning, I should have told you in advance. If you have time in the morning, go to Lin Mo's shopkeeper to remind Hanada. This way, Hanada doesn't have to bother Hanada. 
By the way, Dad, this is the weight-bearing device plan designed by Teacher Kai for me. Please help me build it. I will use it tomorrow. With that said, Tiantian took out the weight-bearing device plan given by Metkai and handed it to his father. No problem. Upon hearing this, Tiantian's dad immediately took it, nodded without looking at it and said, Don't worry, I'll type it out for you tonight. Although he doesn't use these things every day, Metkai often comes to their ninja shop to make and buy ninja tools. Let them make a fortune. I will go to Lin Mo to find Hanada now. I won't be back for dinner tonight. After talking to his father, Tiantian couldn't wait to say goodbye to his father and went straight to Lin Mo's jar shop. She didn't even go to Lin Mo's place today, and even sent Hanada pigeons away. She had to go there quickly. Um, when Tenten was running quickly and passed by the Ichiraku ramen shop, Yuhi Kuranai, who was walking with Inazuka Kiba and Aburame Shino, noticed Tenten instantly and couldn't help but be surprised. Why is this kid running so fast? Is there something urgent? Watching Tiantian quickly run away from her sight, Yuhi Hong shook her head and stopped paying attention. Teacher Hong, is the snail noodles you mentioned really delicious? Next to him, Inazuka Kiba said hesitantly, if it smells like this in the air, I don't think I can eat it. His sense of smell was very sensitive, and he instantly smelled the smell of snail noodles wafting from the Ichiraku ramen shop, and his face was twisted. No, they obviously trained very hard today. Teacher Yuhi Hong actually brought them here to eat this kind of food. What kind of punishment is this? Although it tastes very sour, there is actually a spice flavor in it. Next to him, Aburame Shino said calmly, and most of the people in the Ichiraku ramen shop are eating this thing, which proves that this thing is indeed delicious and it is a new product from the Ichiraku ramen shop. Compared to Inazuka Kiba, he could also explore it more clearly. In fact, you know it if you think about it. If it wasn't delicious, the Ichiraku ramen shop wouldn't be full. The only bad thing is that for those who eat light ramen, it is a kind of torture. I promise you'll like it. When Kurinai Yuhi heard what Inazuka Kiba said, she smiled happily and said, Will the teacher still lie to you? Let's go. With that said, he took Inazuka Kiba and Aburame Shino into the Ichiraku ramen shop. As soon as he came in, a more pungent sour smell penetrated Inazuka Kiba's nasal cavity overwhelmingly, causing Inazuka Kiba's face to twist involuntarily. This smells too bad. As a ninja of the Inazuka clan, his sense of smell is sharper than ordinary people. Now that he is here, feeling the smell of snail noodles coming from all directions, it is really a kind of torture for him. Calamus, here are three bowls of snail noodles. Yuhi Hong greeted her very skillfully. Okay, hearing the familiar voice, Chang Pu immediately brought out the prepared snail noodles. Because of the popularity of snail noodles, when there are many customers, she will prepare it directly in the kitchen. As long as someone orders it, it can be handed out immediately. I'm not afraid that no one will order at all. Because someone ate it, it had to be packed away. So Shoda has been busy, and the Calamus has been carrying, busy. Soon, a chorus placed a bowl of steaming snail noodles on the table chosen by Yuhi Hong. After placing three bowls of snail noodles in succession, Chang Pu left quickly. She also has to serve it to others. Looking at these three bowls of snail noodles, Inazuka Tiha's mouth twitched. Teacher Kurinai, can you not eat it? At this time, Yuhi Hong's red lips curled into a slight smile. She had already picked up the chopsticks, elegantly picked up a wisp of snail powder, and gently put it into her mouth. At this moment, the snail powder slipped between her red lips. Yuhi Hong closed her eyes after taking one sip, as if savoring the delicacy, a look of satisfaction appeared on her face. The picture reveals a unique sense of beauty. The beauty of the sunset is in sharp contrast to the bowl of snail noodles, but it is unexpectedly harmonious. Her red lips sucked gently between the vermicelli, making a slight sound, as if she was enjoying a feast of taste. He paid no attention to Inazuka Kiba's words. Inazuka Kiba was stunned. He had never seen teacher Yuhi Hong tasting a bowl of food so intently, and the expression of enjoyment made him feel a little curious and puzzled. Smelling the pungent smell of steaming food and seeing his teacher Yuhi Hong eating so deliciously, Ya's heart was shaken. Forget it, let's fight. Inazuka Kiba secretly encouraged himself, gritted his teeth, and finally decided to try this bowl of snail noodles. 
he immediately picked up the chopsticks and carefully picked up a strand of vermicelli. Although the pungent smell on the tip of his nose still lingered, he still put the vermicelli into his mouth. Um, in an instant, Yaw's eyes suddenly widened. The vermicelli that just entered your mouth brought a completely unexpected taste impact. The hot and sour taste exploded in his mouth instantly, along with the unique fresh aroma and elastic texture. Every bite made him feel extremely satisfied and surprised. This is so delicious, Inazuka Kiba was shocked. I never expected that this pungent smell could be transformed into such delicious food. He was instantly captured by the unique taste of snail noodles. His previous hesitation and insecurity suddenly disappeared, replaced by a strong desire for this bowl of noodles. Ya could no longer care about anything, and he started to eat crazily. Every bite seemed to be tasting the delicacies of the world, and even the strong sour smell became acceptable. The hot and sour taste of the snail noodles stimulated his taste buds, making him feel more satisfied than ever before. Inazuka Kiba's speed was getting faster and faster, and there was almost no time for the chopsticks to stop. It's so delicious, so delicious. Inazuka Kiba was so ecstatic that he could hardly stop talking. He felt that he had completely fallen in love with this bowl of snail noodles. The peculiar taste had been deeply imprinted in his mind and could not be shaken off. At this time, Yuhi Hong saw Ya's reaction and raised the corners of her mouth slightly, showing a proud smile, how about it, am I right? Although this snail noodle has a special taste, it is really delicious. Ya's mouth was full of snail noodles and he didn't even bother to answer. He could only nod wildly and continue to eat. His heart was filled with love for this bowl of snail noodles, and all his previous doubts disappeared at this moment. Shino Abarame, who was standing nearby, was taciturn, but her attention was also attracted by the performance of the two. He immediately adjusted his sunglasses slightly and started to tremble slightly. Soon, after finishing the bowl of snail noodles, Inazuka Kiba put down his chopsticks with satisfaction on his face. Then he looked at Yuhi Hong with excitement. Teacher, you are right. This snail powder is simply amazing. Yuhi Hong chuckled and nodded, put down her chopsticks gracefully, and lightly opened her red lips. Some food can only be truly appreciated by tasting it with your own mouth. Remember this lesson, and don't be intimidated by the superficial taste next time. Quote. Calamus, another bowl. Yuhi Hong continued to greet Iris and serve another bowl. I want it too. Inazuka Kiba hurriedly asked for a bowl, and said quickly, pack two bowls for me by the way. I will take them back and give them to Akamaru later. My Akamaru was specially placed at home today. His training has ended today. The reason why I came to dinner was because teacher Yuhi Hong Hong was treating me. He didn't expect that teacher Yuhi Hong would actually bring them to eat such a delicacy. He is not a good partner to himself. You must take it back and give Akamaru a taste. Immediately, as the snail powder came up, Inazuka quivered happily again. When Inazuka Kiba was happily squirting, outside the Ichiraku ramen shop, a woman wearing a black kimono and holding a pink piglet stopped, sniffed her nose, and looked a little confused, am I remembering it wrong? While muttering, he looked up at the location of the store. Looking at the words, Ichiraku Ramen, on the shop sign, Shizun was sure. I didn't make a mistake. This is indeed an Ichiraku Ramen shop. But why does this Raku Ramen shop smell like this? And seeing that many people were sitting and eating in Ichiraku Ramen, Shizun's face became more and more strange. How could so many people eat this thing? Is it a new product? But eating Ichiraku Ramen in this atmosphere seems to be a torture. Ah, it's rare for me to come back and help Tsunade-sama to collect information. If I leave now, I will be hungry. There is nothing good to eat outside the village at night. Oh, forget it, let's go in first, finish eating early, and leave early. The village has been under martial law recently. If you don't leave, it will be difficult to leave the village. But some things that happened in Konoha village are interesting. You can go back and report to Tsunade-sama. Shizun muttered while holding the cute little pig in her arms and walked into Ichiraku Ramen. After walking in, she pulled up her black hat directly, chose an empty seat in the corner of the front desk, and whispered, have a bowl of Ichiraku Ramen. Okay, hearing Jingyun's words, a chorus immediately said, wait a moment. Since the snail noodles became popular, few people come to eat Ichiraku Ramen today. 
but a chorus also knows that this situation cannot continue. After all, this is an Ichiraku ramen shop, not a snail noodle shop. She has already found an empty shop next to Linmo's jar shop. Soon, a chorus handed a big bowl of Ichiraku ramen to Jingyun and said with a hearty smile, please enjoy it. As she said, a chorus turned around and continued to work. And Jingyun picked up the chopsticks casually, gently picked up a strand of ramen, and put it in her mouth. Her movements were elegant and natural, as if this bowl of ramen was not just food in her eyes, but also a relaxing and enjoyable experience. As soon as the noodles entered her mouth, the familiar taste instantly bloomed on the tip of her tongue. The smooth noodles with rich soup gently slid across her throat and warmed her whole body. Well, Ichiraku ramen is still delicious. Shizun couldn't help but narrow her eyes, with a satisfied smile on her face. This bowl of ramen brought her not only deliciousness, but also a long-lost sense of security. The elasticity of the noodles was just right, and with the carefully cooked soup, every bite seemed to bring her back to the carefree days in the village when she was a child. The familiar taste made her put aside all the troubles in her heart temporarily, leaving only the enjoyment of this bowl of ramen. Shizun picked up another big mouthful of noodles and savored it carefully. The rich pork bone soup mixed with the fragrance of the noodles, the melting barbecued pork and fresh side dishes made this bowl of ramen even better. She felt that her entire mouth was filled with happiness, as if this bowl of ramen could soothe all the fatigue in her heart. Really, no matter where I go, Ichiraku ramen in Konoha village can make me feel the happiest. Shizun sighed silently in her heart. Running around outside with Lady Tsunade, the ramen she ate was not as delicious as Ichiraku ramen here. But what's being eaten here is really affecting my enjoyment of ramen. The next second, Shizun smelled the smell of snail noodles in the air around her, and she complained in a low voice. The sour smell in the air made Shizun speechless. Although she didn't know what it was, she saw that the people around her were enjoying it, so it seemed to be a delicacy. Shizun looked around and found that many people were eating snail noodles. She immediately shook her head and continued to eat her ramen. So weird. And Yuhikurin, who was eating snail noodles, noticed Shizun in a corner not far away, who lowered her head and couldn't see her face clearly, and immediately raised her eyebrows. That woman seemed a little strange. But the next second, Yuhikurin retracted her gaze. It had nothing to do with her anyway, so she didn't need to meddle in other people's business. She didn't think anyone would cause trouble in the village now. Speaking of which, if we leave the village in a few days, we should also purchase a batch of new ninja tools. Yuhi Kurunai thought that after receiving Hanada Hayuga in a few days, she would definitely need to purchase a batch of new ninja tools when she went out of the village to do tasks. As a teacher, she couldn't let students bring their own ninja tools. Outside the village, ninja tools were not enough. Thinking of ninja tools, Yuhi Kurunai thought of Tiantian's ninja tool shop. I can go and have a look later. When Yuhi Kurunai thought so. On the other side, in the jar shop, Tiantian ran in and found that Lin Mo was the only one, and immediately asked curiously, Lin Mo, where is Hanada? Training in the back, Lin Mo, who was observing the incomplete second gate of the eight gates of ninjutsu, immediately looked up and chuckled, it seems that she is ready to leave. Through Hanada who came in the afternoon, Linmo knew why Tiantian didn't come today. Might Guy was trained. Speaking of which, I don't know if Tiantian told Might Guy about the jar. At present, it seems that he didn't. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense for Tiantian to come alone. Thinking that he still needed to fill more than a dozen jars, Linmo felt that he might have to wait until the day after tomorrow. Ha! Huh. Hearing Linmo's words, Tiantian hurried to the backyard. On the training ground in the backyard, Hanada Hayuga was packing up her things. When she saw Tiantian coming back, she was stunned and said in surprise, Tiantian, why are you here? Didn't Tiantian go to training with the instructor? How come he still has time to come today? After I went back from the party today, I heard my dad say that you had been to my house, so I hurried over. Tiantian said with an embarrassed look, it's all my fault that I didn't tell you in advance, so I made you run all the way. I came to see if you were still there. Don't leave yet, let's train for a while tonight, and then have dinner together, I'll treat you. Yeah, hearing Tiantian's words, Hayuga Hanada nodded immediately, no problem. I won't cook today, we'll take Lin Mo out to eat later. Tiantian laughed, 
suddenly thought of something, and asked curiously, By the way, Hanada, how is your wind escape ninjutsu? B level ninjutsu, wind escape vacuum jade. Hearing Tiantian's words, Hayuga Hanada looked up in confusion, Very familiar, what's wrong? The ninjutsu that he opened the jar himself did not need to be practiced, he could use it directly, very skilled. When he opened the jar, Tiantian was also beside him and saw it. Why do you ask this every day now? Hey, I thought of a good way to train. Tiantian rubbed his hands excitedly. It's you who uses that B-level ninjutsu, wind release and vacuum jade on me, and then I dodge to practice my movement speed. Ha, huh, no, hearing Tiantian's words, Hayuga Hanada shook her head hurriedly, how is this possible? This B-level ninjutsu is very powerful. If it hits you, it will definitely hurt you. Tiantian is too brave to think about it. Serving as a target for B-level ninjutsu, if you are not careful, you will be seriously injured. Don't worry, I'm not that stupid. Hearing Hanada Hanada's words, Tenten chuckled and said, I mean, the day after tomorrow, won't you be returning to the team the day after tomorrow? I got a new taijutsu training plan from teacher Kai, so I wanted to take advantage of you to leave. Before, try it. Of course, I will definitely wear protective armor. You can control the amount of chakra to prevent that vacuum jade from causing so much damage. If it works, we will continue training when you return to the village. In that case, okay. Hanada was stunned when she heard Tenten's words. Not immediately. If that's the case, then there's no problem. Very good. Seeing Hanada agree, Tenten immediately looked satisfied. In this way, you can try it and see, and when the time comes to train, train in this direction. But the next second, Tiantian looked envious as she watched Hanada put the packed things into the storage ring on her finger with just a wave of her hand. I envy you so much, Hanada. Your storage ring is more convenient than my ceiling scroll. I wish I had one too. This storage ring is really convenient. There will be some next time you open the can. Hearing Tiantian's words, Hanada whispered, but if you need it, I can lend you the ring first. I only use it for daily training. You use the ninja control tool. It is still very convenient to have this, of. Hanada said as she prepared to take off the storage ring in her hand. No, no, no. Hearing Hanada's words, Tenten immediately stopped Hanada's movements, shook his head and said, you will be returning to the team in a few days. When you go out to the village to do tasks, you will definitely have to put things away. But you probably won't leave the village. After all, you have just graduated. The tasks you can take on are some E-level, D-level tasks within the scope of the village. You should keep it yourself first. You don't have to give it to me. I'll be able to open the can in a few days. I might be able to do it by then. Although Hanada is very generous, Tiantian also feels that she cannot take advantage of her. After all, this storage ring is really worth a lot of money. After hearing Tenten's words, Hanada immediately stopped moving and did not take off her clothes again. Come on, let's go to Lalanmo to eat ramen. As Tenten said this, he pulled Hanada towards the can shop ahead. Lin Mo, Lin Mo, let's go out to eat. Tiantian ran in and said to Lin Mo, Hanada is going back just in time. I have been training for a day. I think I can go to Ichiraku Ramen for a bowl of ramen. I can't cook today because I didn't bring any food when I came here in a hurry. Yeah, okay. After hearing Tiantian's words, Lin Mo nodded slightly. It's getting late now, just in time to have dinner. There is no food in the store, so we should go out for a meal. With this in mind, Lin Mo put the scroll into the storage ring and then walked out of the jar shop with Hanada and Tiantian. I can't come tomorrow either. While walking out of the can shop with Lin Mo, Tien Tien looked at Lin Mo and said distressedly, Tomorrow I have to go to Teacher Kai's place to gather for training. Wouldn't that be nice? Hearing this, Lin Mo looked surprised, Your physical fitness has improved a lot. When you come to me, you also go to the backyard to train, but if your teacher takes you to train together, the effect will definitely be greater. Tian Tian's instructor is the famous Blue Beast in Konoha. Aha! Hearing Lin Mo's words, Tiantian nodded. She had already gained a lot just by going there for training today. Originally, I wanted to tell Teacher Kai about you, Lin Mo, and the abandoned jar, and bring him over to open it. Tiantian continued to sigh and said, but before I could finish speaking, he interrupted me. 
I wanted to say it several times but was interrupted by him. Finally, it was said that there can be no shortcuts in physical skills. When he finds out about Lin Mo's jar, I'll see if he regrets it. Speaking of which, Tian Tian was bulging, like a hamster with its mouth full. That's actually the case. Lin Mo looked strange after hearing Tian Tian's words. In this case, it makes sense. He was not surprised by what Metke said. After all, who would have thought that there is such a magical thing as a jar? By the way, I'll run over and take a seat first. Suddenly, Tian Tian said hurriedly, When I came over, I saw a lot of people in the Ichiraku ramen shop. It seemed that there was no room left. I didn't look carefully at the time. I'll run over to take a look now and help you order one. I'll wait for you. When you arrive, there's no need to wait, just start eating. Can, Lin Mo nodded happily after hearing Tian Tian's words. Immediately, Tian Tian ran away quickly. Only Lin Mo and Hanada were still walking. By the way, your dad, why didn't you bring some people to open the jar? As Tian Tian left, Lin Mo looked at Hanada beside him, pinched his chin, and said slightly curiously, I think there are only three people in your Hyuga clan to open the cans so far. It had been a few days, but Hanada and Rizu hadn't brought any extra clan members to open the jar, which was beyond Lin Mo's expectation. Although he guessed that Hanada Hazu wanted to keep it secret, couldn't he bring a few close people to open the jar? I, I don't know my father's specific thoughts. Hearing Lin Mo's words, Hanada's face flushed and she whispered, but father said not to publicize too much. Then it seems I was right. After getting Hanada's words, Lin Mo understood. The two of them were chatting while walking towards the Ichiraku ramen shop. In the Ichiraku ramen shop at this time, Yuhi Kurinai has also walked out with an Azuka Kiba and Aburame Shino. Teacher Hong, I'm leaving first. Inazuka Kiba excitedly picked up two bowls of packed snail noodles, said goodbye to Yuhi Kurinai, and left quickly. He also wanted to bring the good things back to Akamaru. Aburame Shino also nodded with Kurinai Yuhi, said goodbye and left. Yuhi Kurinai, who was standing at the Ichiraku ramen shop, also stretched her waist, squinted her eyes and prepared to leave. But not long after walking, I saw Tiantian running quickly from a distance. Sister Iris, please have three bowls of Ichiraku ramen. After Tenten ran into the Ichiraku ramen shop, he opened his mouth to Iris and raised three fingers at the same time. Okay, wait a minute. Hearing Tiantian's words, Chong Pu immediately nodded and said, Knead the ramen noodles, put them in the pot, and it will be ready after a while. This kid eats three bowls. Listening to Tiantian's words, Yuhi Hong looked a little strange. So can it be eaten? Even if you have physical talent, you won't be able to eat so much. Following Metkai is really, thinking of Tiantian's teacher, Metkai, Yuri Hong sighed in her heart. It would be great if Tiantian was my student. Immediately, Yuhi Hong left the Ichiraku ramen shop and prepared to go back. However, not long after walking, he saw Lin Mo and Hanada Hanada walking side by side among the crowd not far away. Hanada lowered her head and intertwined her fingers, as if she was saying something. Um, seeing this scene, Yuhi Hong's complexion suddenly became strange. Isn't that young man from the shop I saw yesterday? It was that store that Hanada ran into at that time. At that time, I came out every day and went to an open training field in the back with Hanada. Why are you walking with Lin Mo now? Who is this young man? Thinking about how Hanada even secretly used wind type chakra to attach her feet and hurried away, she couldn't find it. Now it seems that Hanada and this person also know each other. We know each other together, Tiantian. Could it be from over there? Yuhi Hong looked at Lin Mo carefully and found that Lin Mo had thin skin and tender flesh, and had a temperament that was different from ordinary people and ninjas. He also did not wear any ninja forehead protector on his head. He was not wearing ninja-style clothes, so he was not a ninja at all. Under such circumstances, how could he meet the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan? Even letting the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan not hesitate to secretly use chakra to rush to find him. Could it be? Yuhi Hong suddenly thought of something and looked strange. The special training that the Hyuga Hazu clan leader mentioned was that Hanada was with this young man. Is this too early? Wrong. The next second, Yuhi Hong shook her head, thinking that Hanada had rushed to Lin Mo's place to find Tiantian and had not communicated much with this person. 
but the current situation is obviously understanding. Thinking of the tenton I just saw, I came to the Ichiraku ramen shop and asked for three bowls of Ichiraku ramen. She roughly guessed that Tiantian ordered it in advance. So, these three people all know each other. For a while, Shihi Hong became interested in Lin Mo. What is the identity of this young man? He was actually able to walk with the eldest lady of the Hyuga clan, and even met Tenten, who owned a ninja shop in the Leaf Village. It just so happened that he was not from the Leaf Village. She could tell at a glance through Lin Mo's clothes that Lin Mo was not from the Leaf Village. More like those young masters around the Fire Country Daimyo. Let's see tomorrow. Thinking that tomorrow was the penultimate day and the time she had agreed with Hinata Hiyashi, Yuhi Kurunai thought she could take the time to take a look. Does Hinata want to go to where this young man is? She remembered that Metkai was training today and was there every day. This also meant that he was not with Hinata every day during the day. So will Hinata come out again? Thinking of what Hinata Hiyashi told him, Hinata was undergoing special training for the Hyuga clan, Yuhi Kurunai was speechless. What kind of special training is this? He was not with his family for two consecutive days. Instead, he was training at a training ground outside. Immediately, Yuhi Hong left. She has saved some and can continue to observe Hanada tomorrow. When Yuhi Hong left, in the Ichiraku ramen shop, Shizun looked at the bowl of snail noodles in front of her, took a deep breath, and started chattering naturally. She had just finished a bowl of ramen and decided to pay and leave. As a result, seeing that everyone was eating snail noodles, she was curious for a moment and asked a little more. As a result, a chorus told her that she could try it. If it doesn't taste good, she won't eat it and she doesn't have to pay. If many people in Ichiraku ramen were not eating this kind of snail noodles, she said she would never try it. As a result, she found out that she had been wrong before. It smelled very sour and stinky, but it actually tasted very fragrant, which instantly captured her mouth and tongue, and shocked her heart. How could it be so delicious? It's a pity that Tsunade-sama didn't come. Thinking that Tsunade-sama didn't return to Konoha village, she came to Konoha village to collect some information, and Shizun sighed. She was not with Tsunade-sama, and she didn't know how Tsunade-sama was doing. Anyway, it's so late, why don't I stay for another bowl, eat some snail noodles tomorrow morning, pack a portion, and then leave. Shizun muttered while eating snail noodles. Anyway, we have been staying in Konoha village for more than one day, so it doesn't matter if we stay for another night. Who would have thought that this snail noodle is so delicious? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.